from Brooklyn, New York, it's Tedathon number two. Tonight with Benny Friedman, Lipa Schmelzer, Jakob Schwecki, Abraham Free, the Freilich Orchestra. Shira Choir, Rabbi Chase Town. And now, here is your host, Nachum Siegel. Thank you, orchestra, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and a special hello to those of you who are watching around the world, and welcome to the second annual Tenathon Live by Ten Yad. My name is Nachum Siegel, and I am very excited to be your host for tonight's amazing show. Throughout this evening's Tenathon, I will be joined on stage by some of the biggest names in Jewish music and many special guests to share music, song, dance, heartwarming stories, and of course, plenty of laughter. So make sure to stay tuned in. This will be a one-of-a-kind production with beautiful new sets and wonderful new material, and you won't want to miss any of it. Keep in mind, the real star of the night is you at home, because in addition to all the above excitement, entertainment, and inspiration, we will be auctioning off all the prizes in the greatest auction yet. Prizes totaling over $300,000, including a brand new Tesla, tens of thousands of dollars of jewelry, family vacations, a Cartier watch, and so much more. By taking part, not only can you win something you've been dreaming of, but you will be helping an organization that is dedicated to helping others. I have heard a lot about Ten Yad over the years and the great work that they do. Recently, I had the chance to visit their showroom in person, and let me tell you, it was more than I could have ever imagined. I was blown away by the class and refinement, by the scale and scope of the work they do. When a young couple gets engaged, it can be a tumultuous time for them and their families, a time filled with uncertainty. And many feel overwhelmed and weighed down by the additional costs, challenges, and responsibilities. Knowing someone is there caring for them to help them with basic household items like dishes, towels, bedding, money for a shaitel, a gown for the wedding, and so much more takes a tremendous strain off the young Kala and lifts a tremendous burden 
from the young couple. And all of this is done with incredible dignity, care, and concern. You can help lift that burden tonight from thousands of couples, building homes together for the future of Klal Yisrael. And on top of it all, Tanya does it with a smile and treats each person who comes through their door with the dignity and respect that everyone deserves. Back to this evening and tonight's prizes. I haven't even mentioned the grand split the pot, which last year totaled a whopping $531,000. That is life-changing money, and I have no doubt we will soon pass that amount in this year's split the pot. Let's try to get it to $1 million. Buy your tickets now. Check out the amazing prizes you can win. Go to tenyad.org or dial 347-667-7500. That's 347-667-7500. That website and phone number will be on the screen throughout the evening. The $10 prize category, only the $10 prizes, the, wet, the rest will remain open for longer, will be closing at 7.15 Eastern time. So get online or to your phone and do so now. We have people standing by to take your call. We'll also have some great promos throughout the night. So make sure to stay tuned. You could join in the action from home tonight as well. Send a picture of yourself or your family watching the Tenathon. Post it to Instagram and make sure to tag us at 10.yod with the hashtag Tenathon2. And we will display your picture on the live stream. Or WhatsApp your photo to this number 347 771 8454. 347 771 8454. Tonight, you will hear stories about the organization and you will be inspired by the great work of Ten Yad. But for now, let's get the fun started and allow me to welcome my first guest whose music videos on YouTube total over 50 million views. Let's give a warm welcome to Benny Friedman. Mr. Nachum Siegel, Freilich Band. What a fanfare. Did you hear the crowd go wild with that one? You appreciated the, the strength behind that intro? Very, very much. <laughs> I, uh, I kind of waltzed on. Is there a possibility? I don't want to ruin the whole show right now. Is there I a mean, possibility we could maybe... We're, we're doing a... What would you call it? Uh, a redo. An intro redo? A, a redo. minute into the show? If it's possible. I don't want to... Can we do a more something more... Freilich, <sighs> more Freilich band. Would you like me to start I'm, this off? I'm going to go outside. You go you do back this one there. More time. I mean, what a rocky start, yeah, Benny. I never even envisioned this would We're going to recover happen. quick. We're going to recover quick. We will quick. recover, that's for sure. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Benny Friedman. <laughs> And the crowd goes wild. They certainly do. That's an intro. In all my years, I don't think I ever saw an intro redo. <laughs> so thank you for the revolutionary act, Mr. Friedman. <laughs> and good evening to you and welcome. Please have have to sit down. I well, I'll have a seat. We'll chat for a bit. And then we're going to ask you, of course, to... Uh... Usually when I speak to Nachum Siegel, I like the rule should be that he should sit and I should stand. Got it. This way. But okay. Excellent strategy ah. on your part. Uh, well, good evening to you. Um, and look, a, a couple of things. People are, are interested in, in your background, and uh, after all these years of watching you perform and enjoying your music, they have some 
curiosities. Uh, we know that you actually started as a child singer. So I'm wondering if you, and you come from a very musical family. So I'm wondering if you remember how old you were when you first hit the stage and maybe tell us what song you sang. Well, I grew up in Minnesota, so we didn't have so many opportunities. But when I would go to camp, I remember I had a solo in the choir. That was uh, like the highlight of my year. For Any sure. idea what song it was? Oh. I don't like to remember because uh, I had a big solo and there's no music. It's just me on the stage singing solo. Right. And I said, Remembering my counselor's devotion is kind words filled with emotion. How can I forget those times that we share spent? And I made a big mistake. <sighs> But I quickly recovered like I just did earlier, <laughs> as you saw. So there's a precedent. I'm good at recovering. Very happy to hear that. Uh, well, uh, we're here for Ten Yad, as you know. Um, and we have a, uh, an amazing audience watching from around the world. So first, let me ask you a music question. And that is, um, when, you're, when you're in the mood to relax, listen to some music to just, you know, calm things down and chill out, as the kids would say. What music are you listening to? Uh, probably Uncle Moishi, because when I'm trying to relax, I need my kids to be entertained. Yeah. So it's a lot of Uncle Moishi. Again, very strategic on your part. Yes. A lot of Kiwi and Tuki. Wow. Classic. Yeah. Very, very quality stuff. And it's a, it's a strategic thing, because I grew up on that music as well, sure. and I, you know what I mean? We can both enjoy they it. They must right? be impressed that you know all the words, I can tell you that much. Uh, okay, so I mentioned we're here for Ten Yad, of course. Any first-hand knowledge of the work that Ten Yad does? Um, of course. Of course. Ten Yad is an amazing organization that everybody here knows about. Um, I know hundreds and hundreds of friends who, uh, and family. Who, who were like set on their feet by Ten Yad. Right. Um, it's not easy. Start, a, start a, a life, fill a house with everything that's necessary. And uh, Ten Yad. They came through, huh? Oh, yeah. I can only imagine. And they always we're, do. One of the themes tonight as we speak to our guests is if you have, since we're talking about weddings, Ten Yad, and making weddings and helping people make weddings, you have a special memory of a wedding episode, a wedding song, a Anything memorable that happened at a wedding, a, a, a special moment at a wedding you want to share with us? Well, I have a terrible memory, but just <laughs> recently, I, you know, just recently, you know, you stand at a chuppah, and, uh, and many chuppahs, they sing Imesh Kochei. Right. And it's very dramatic, especially when I do it, I get very dramatic. And, uh, and you know, everyone's crying, and it's a very solemn moment. And then we finish the song, and then everyone turns their attention to the chassan who's going to break the glass. And just a couple of weeks ago, the chassan... Can I demonstrate? Uh-oh. This is what happened. <laughs> <laughs> he went chasing the glass around the chuppah, and uh, the solemn moment was gone. Yeah, you're not going to forget about that one. That uh, I can that was guarantee. pretty amazing. Everyone knows you grew up in a very <laughs> musical family, uh, music entertainment, Jewish music entertainment is literally in your blood. Your uncle, of course, the great Avraham, Avram Fried is here tonight. Who was some, some of the other performers you enjoyed while you were growing up? Oh, my goodness. Oh, first of all, as you mentioned, Avram Fried, my uncle, uh, number one in my sure. house, in my life. Um, and then everybody. We had, a, we had a lot of music. Thank God I'm at the bottom of a large family, so I had a lot, you know, my older brothers and sisters had their own music uh, preferences, and we had a lot of music in the house. Talking about Moshe Yes, Slil Vizemer, London School, wow. uh, Diaspora Yeshiva Band. Ooh. I mean, Yitzchak Biton. He was a great... The good, good stuff, good stuff. Music was always knocking in the house. I never learned how to play the piano because I don't do anything that takes work. <laughs> the singing is easier, huh? <laughs> I see the drummers in sync with you tonight, oh, at least yeah. that. Benny, can we impose on you to sing some of those classics for us tonight? Oh, my goodness, I would love to. Ladies, I would love to. Ladies and gentlemen, with a proper introduction, he is Benny Friedman. Oh, thank you, thank you. Nachum Siegel. Is it okay if I come over here? 
You know, I was talking to a friend of mine a couple of weeks ago, discussing, is the camera following me? Oh yeah, here we go. We all suffer from something called imposter syndrome, right? I'm standing up here on the stage right now, but deep down in my soul, I know I don't belong here. So what I do in my brain is I just imagine that I'm somebody else. Somebody who deserves to be up here, one of my heroes perhaps. So I just want to take you a little bit on a tour of the music that sits in my brain since I'm a small child. And maybe just point out some of the memorable moments that were memorable to me. For example, way, way back, back in the early 70s maybe, music was very smooth and very groovy. And then I remember as a small child thinking, man, the drummer is going cuckoo. You remember that? So for example, I'll give you an example. Oh, yeah, can we get that bass line the way they used to do it in the 70s? Very nice and smooth, yeah? And now the band is gonna come in and just pay attention to the drummer. Everything cool. Amazing, yeah! You can sing along and clap along if you know this song. Here we go. And we got the She Require, so... Here we go! Hey, I'm in the you have the Chabad Telephone where Moshe Yes would come out the great Moshe Yes the folk singer the folks love his singing and he would come out and say when I was a little child my father took me to the island the Long Island next to the island of Manhattan and he said to me, son, <laughs> he always called me son. He said, son, look up at the sky. See the beautiful clouds. Who do you think created all this beauty, my son? He said, son, never forget. It was the Holy One, blessed be He. The Holy One, blessed be He. He was, He is, He will forever be. The Holy One, blessed be He. He was, He is, He will forever be. Yes, and why does the bird sing up in the tree? The Holy One, blessed be
blessed be he And then at the big Hask show, the first sultan I ever saw in my life, the sultan of Sephardic music, Joe Amar, would come out and he would start to sing with endless breath. You remember this? Then we had the London School of Jewish Song. I must have been six years old watching this. The soloist looked even younger than me. You remember this song? Sing along because here we go. Miami Boys Choir with their unbelievable musical arrangements that only recently dawned on me that these arrangements are so intricate because you have the choir and then you have your Achmil Begun singing and they need to change the key because they don't sing on the same key and then so that created very interesting musical arrangements we don't have a kids choir here but I'm just gonna sing a song here with those hits those Yisroh Lamb hits. You remember this song, Limaranan Virabanan? Here we go. From across the ocean, the first time that I ever heard a singer take a song and put the words from the prayer, from the tefillah, and then mix it with some original words, 
I'm speaking, of course, about the great Chaim Israel, who taught me personally, for sure, about singing in the language of Ibrit and mixing it with Meha Mekorot. And of course, watching the great A.B. Rottenberg sit at the piano. I remember this so vivid. I'm gonna sing it for you and I'm gonna ask the video to come in at the end of the verse right here to my face while I point at the camera like as though A.B. Rottenberg is pointing right at me. Now tonight is a most special moment And there's no place that I'd rather be For here with us all Throughout this great hall is Amala Hagoel Osi For Amala is merely an agent Making sure that God's will is carried through And the joy that you've given To these special children means The mala, the goel is you Kamala Chagoel Actually, recently someone asked me in an interview, what's your favorite Avram Fried song? So I said, well, besides for all the obvious ones, it's Hashata. And my uncle, Reb Avram Fried, saw the interview and says to me, Hashata, your favorite song? And I must say, Feter, Hashata is an amazing, fun song, and it was composed by Avram Fried. And the originators of Jewish rock and roll. Everything they did. So fun. So lighthearted. So full of simcha. Of course, I'm talking about Diaspora Yeshiva Band.
thank you, thank you, and the crowd goes wild. Of course, of course, of course. As a child, thinking about, besides my great uncle, not my great uncle, my great uncle, he's my uncle who's great, he's not my great uncle. Then we have Mordechai ben David, the man who taught us all how to pray and sing. We would get together as a family, singing all those English songs. So with your permission, and with your participation, I would like to sing some of those old MBD favorites. And before I do, I want to call onto the stage a star of today. My dear, dear cousin, Ellie Marcus. Ellie Marcus.
accepteth on a fine A vision so divine Reveals a nation yet to be Beside them all the world would pay For they are Yisroel A shining light for all to see And they would come together Pledge their love forever Time did not their hearts see not Down it was the land of milk and honey And the joy it would bring As time went by From Egypt's liberation to The nations of the land retreated fearfully The mighty walls that crumbled the lands yet were blue Yet if they fell and finally I hope that wasn't you This song. The wounds, the pain, brought masses returning back to their roots more than ever. The leftists fiercely fighting to the damp and the sparks still burning. So wake up, my friend.
something about this hat. I can't. I mean, if you would look at this, this I means horrible. It's coming out really terrible in all these family pictures. You know, no one's inviting me to their simchas anymore. Whatever. Hey, Marsh, nice to see you. What's uh, up? Get yeah. into your house right now. I got oh, a package for you. At, yeah, but I was only expecting two boxes. What's oh, this? That's because this one is for me. Oh, for yeah. You? Oh, yeah. You don't mind, do you? Oh, uh, no, please. Oh, yeah. Make yourself at home. Here it is. Oh, oh. What do you think? Kanech? No Kanech. Is that a Borsalino? Of course it is. I only wear the best. Yeah, but how? I forgot to give you this. You want a hat? A Borsalino hat at the 10 yard auction? Kanech? No Kanech. Kanech? No Kanech. Kanech? No Kanech. The Tenethon would like to thank this evening's sponsors. Kettle and Cord. Kettle and Cord is proud to be partnering with Ten Yacht on this year's Tenathon. The perfect place for a young couple to start their new lives together. Kettle and Cord has everything you need to fill your new home. Dare to compare. More than 90% of items at Kettle and Cord are more affordable than Amazon. From the Lachaim to the wedding and after. Kettle and Cord has the perfect gifts to enhance your Simcha. Visit us in store or online at kettleandcord.com. Molly's. For over two decades, Molly's Jewelers has been one of the most trusted names in jewelry in the tri-state area. We are committed to making every customer feel at home with our personalized service and our extensive variety of fine jewelry. Visit one of our three showrooms in Brooklyn, Lakewood, or Cedarhurst and taste the Molly's experience for yourself. Molly's Jewelers, attainable luxury. Elite Sterling. For over 30 years, Elite Sterling has provided our communities with the most complete line of special silver pieces, each item crafted with care by artisans from around the world. With two convenient locations in Borough Park and Crown Heights, the staff at Elite Sterling are always delighted to help you with the best service, prices, and selection. And they are excited to announce their new state-of-the-art store at 4810 13th Avenue. You must visit. It's a breath of fresh air. Elite Sterling is proud to be part of your family's simchas from generation to generation. Make your simcha an elite simcha from weddings to bar mitzvahs or just that special gift for unique centerpieces. Elite Sterling, waiting for your next simcha. Window Palace. Our commitment to quality and service makes us the outstanding choice for all your architectural needs. Gourmet Glot. Visit one of our locations to peruse the lavish selection of fabulous fresh meats, outstanding kosher specialty products, beautifully displayed takeout food, and tempting fresh beverages, home supplies, and intriguing gourmet items. The ability to buy tickets for the $10 category prizes will be closing in just a few minutes, literally. Only the $10 prizes. The rest of the prizes will remain available, and I will let you know when they will close. So make sure you log on to 10 or call us on the number on your screen, 347-667-7500 and put in your orders now. Before we introduce our next guest, I want to talk about another great idea to support Ten Yad, and that is the Dollar a Day Club. Have the schus of the mitzvah of Achnasas Kala every single day. Join the club to give one dollar every day and have the mitzvah done on your behalf every single day. Go to the website, tenyad.org, and you will have the option to choose to be billed monthly or pay the whole year up front. In Ten Yad style, of course, this also comes along with a chance for you to win. Each member of the Dollar a Day Club is entered into a raffle for a gorgeous diamond ring valued at $4,500. If you call in and join tonight, you'll be included in tonight's raffle. I have an important PSA. 
let's take a look at a few of the prizes you could win tonight. How about prize number 12? $10,000 for sensational appliances by Drimmers. Drimmers has the best kitchen appliances and has provided expert uh, and outstanding customer service for over four decades. How about prize number 13? This will be something that travelers will love. It's your personal travel concierge, MB Travel, sponsoring and providing a trip for two to Israel or Dubai with a one-week hotel stay. Prizes number eight, 23, and 54 are all sponsored by Elite Sterling. All kinds of silver, check them out. And a $10 prize, hurry up. Only a few minutes left to get in this one. It's prize number 76. There'll be two winners of Apple AirPods and so many other great prizes, as you know, clothing, electronics, cars, jewelry, groceries. You want it, it's in there. Log on now, tenya.org, or call now and get your tickets. And now, please welcome my next guest, the one and only, Lipa Schmelzer. Thank you, Orchestra, and welcome, Lipa. Well, where do we start? We start by the winning the Tesla. I want to win the Tesla. You want to win the Tesla. You want to drive home in the Tesla tonight. All right. We'll note that. We'll note that outside. Uh, Lipa has an extraordinary talent, as many of you know. He's an amazing badchen. He has an incredible ability to, uh, to do rhyming and lyrics in a freestyle manner. Most people know this about you. Can you... Uh, Number one, before I turn to you to be a little creative tonight, can you tell us how your mind works when you're composing either one of those rhymes or one of your great songs? Uh, it's been 43 years and I'm trying to figure out how my mind works. <laughs> I can't figure that out. But I can tell you that uh, it's, a certain, it's a certain way the brain is wired that I can talk, I can take in the same information and talk in a rhyme. You know, when sometimes I have different struggles, I'm telling people that it's a package. It can be the same nine to, there's a reason the nine to five job doesn't rhyme. And there's a reason those who rhyme don't work from nine to five. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it just comes out like this. It's an important lesson you just taught us, frankly. All right, we're here with Ten Yard. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna ask you if you could think off the cuff of a great rhyme that would tell everybody about the incredible work of Ten Yard. What would you tell this audience? Okay, so uh, let me take, you know, let's, let's be open here with the audience that, uh, you know, in the script it says that he should ask me to make a, a, a little rhyme about this, but how about I challenge him and I challenge everybody else in this audience from the stage point of view. I won't challenge you, you're enough challenge with the paychecks, but I'm gonna challenge a little bit the choir and the band and the uh, Bluchem. <laughs> You give me, because Tenya does many, many great things, yep. give me two lines to focus on of what they do, hmm. and I'll put that into a rhyme. But not only that, and I promise you this is not uh, practiced, but it's up to you to believe it, I'm going to ask the Shira choir, I'm going to teach them a chorus, and then I'll have, we'll do a hook with a band, and, we'll do, and then we'll do a rhyming in the middle of a drum, but we'll all do together, we'll compose this little new song for 10 years. They didn't know what they were getting themselves into tonight, nor did I, frankly. Uh, I'll start if you want. Yes. Uh, let's see. Ten Yad makes a wedding a very special day. No matter what background or community the Hassan and Kala hmm, <laughs> might be from. How's that? <laughs> okay, okay. So let's, let's take this, let's see, let's see. Uh, give me an F minor. Ten yard, ten yard, ten yard of Chabad doesn't look. Do no, no, I don't want to make it too complicated. Like the first two lines is okay, yeah, but I can't go too crazy. <laughs> okay, so let's make it like very simple four lines. Ten yard, 
ten yad, ten yad of Chabad, ten yad of Chabad is an opportunity of unity. It sounds complicated, but we'll get it. Ten yad, ten yad, ten yad of Chabad, ten yad of Chabad is an opportunity. To bring unity, let's try this again. Ten yard, ten yard, ten yard of Chabad. Ten yard of Chabad is an opportunity to bring you right, to bring God's unity. One more time. Ten yard, ten yard, ten yard of Chabad. Ten yard of Chabad is an opportunity. To bring us unity. So the solo will say to bring us unity, but you will go till the opportunity, and then the solo will bring unity. You have what I'm saying? Of course you do. So let's try it again. So let's see it again one time. Ten yard, ten yard, ten yard of Chabad. Ten yard of Chabad is an opportunity to bring us unity. And then the saxophone takes it away. He goes like anywhere, anyone. Okay, we'll take it out for a second. And just to prove to the audience, because they think, okay, come on, it's just like made up. So we'll go to the audience, and I can't see you, but I hope you see me. And you scream in, like we're not like a hider here, so we're all adults. So everybody takes a chance. Just like three, four, three, four words. You can scream up here, I'll hear the words, and I'll include this in the song. So what, whatever your feelings, for ten yard is throw out the feeling amazing simcha generous what okay chesed on the true Thai base it he has their full of chesed Yes, they put the glazing, their generosity is amazing. Their generous love gestures, they are amazing, yes indeed. Ten yard, there we are here, what a wonderful treat. Hey, ten yard, ten yard, ten yard of Chabad. Ten yard of Chabad is an opportunity to bring us unity. Oh, ten yard, ten yard. Ten yard of Chabad, ten yard of Chabad is an opportunity to bring us unity. Ten yard takes away the sadness and takes away everything that's sour. They put the candles and the light and the shining blooms blossom and flower. They take the Chabad that the Rebbe wanted and they spread it out to the globe. In Vegef and Be'in Vegef and Yiddish it means a drove, a mitantrope. Because when people get married, they build the bias, name on Be'a's throne. Like they learned the Lubavitch Yeshiva, like they learned the Lubavitch school. No, no. Yes, it's true, but also Baba was clear, Sat Malekut. Everybody has a lot when it comes to Chabad. Ten yard, ten yard of Chabad, ten yard of Chabad is an opportunity to bring us unity. Some of the amazing songs that he's composed himself to the stage, Leepa, to the stage. Oh, Please the stage. welcome Leepa Schmelzer. Thank you so much. The introduction of the song. So since we spoke with Nochem about rhyming, let me explain to you a little bit the power of language. And you know here, every shaliach knows, every word makes a difference. So Mordechai ben David sings this song and he says, alone in the dark, frigid cellar, yeah? Alone 
just a small group of men. Now I wanted to translate this in Yiddish. So imagine if I just say, in the tinkle, a line, Elland. Sitzt man dort, stille Heid, etlicher Mann. It's like, okay, come on, you know, it's like, uh, if you want to really add a twist, you do. You want to make it sound similar to the English while having the same meaning as singing in Yiddish. So you say, Bechoy lachayim edichu sela, frigid sela. Alone, just a small group of men, simtaten in Himmel dank men. And then later on you say, how do you say, someday we will all be together. How do you make this work in Yiddish? Ein tu get mazan zusammen, shkoech. No. The tater zuk man kind al tich geder. Someday we will shelter and warm. The tater nem zan kind is an arm. And then he says, never will we have to. So you say, zusammen shoyim ba have to. Klal yisru lahe. But then mot chedos like a shtick. Will all disappear, disappear, disappear. How do you do this in Yiddish? And say, Faloyen, Faloyen, Fagangen, ah. Laman, ya idido, you say, Chem, Laman, disappear, disappear, disappear. Here we go, let's go. Choy lachayim, yoy di chuselo. Zimtaten in him. so much and sincerely I want to thank from the bottom of my heart for this organization for giving me the opportunity to be here tonight and add my little little bit of positive energy I hope to the energy of those people who are here to help out Hassan and Carlos around the world and therefore I say for giving us such a wonderful people. Burg Hashem, for such a wonderful music. Burg Hashem, for such a wonderful choir. Burg Hashem, for the Hassan and Carlos. Burg Hashem for ten years. Burg Hashem for my health. Thank you. Oh 
was real ist, das Größte geht bei mir. Ich weiß nicht, ich bin kein Gefahr. Geld hin nach ist gut, auf Sachen bedankt, er läuft auf jedes Dach, dem Beure, der größte Haar. Dann wäre doch toll, was sieben Schlüssel geben, jeden noch ein bisschen helfen, jeden einem für sein Zahn. Burger schenkt Männer so auf jeden, tritt er jeden, tut ihn noch mal haben, bet man noch schön, die Dach lohnt nicht an. Ich habe drei Tage stark versorgt, das Leben kommt zu Geburt, die Schäften, ja, ich nicht geht. Probleme nehm ich mit der Kinder, mehr allein doch nicht gesinnt, der Mama, sie weint dich nicht. Die Zahl war sein und er muss er fragen, ob er nicht verwusst. Doch komm an der Jovi, wie sie alles geht. Mit Leid, die so gut ich ein Chef, ein Chef verreut, das will es nicht. Der weiß ein Dämmer, Chef verhielt auf jeden Tritt nicht. Doch in Nacht, wo ich ein Chef, noch mit Nacht, wo ich ein Chef, im Begeid, wie mir steht, eben ein Bohr, ich ein Chef, mit dem Minne, jeder Rie, mit Betuchen und Maschinen, lebt er hier noch, bei ihr sagt er Chef. Doch in Nacht, wo ich ein Chef, noch mit Nacht, wo ich ein Chef, wie mir geht, wie mir steht, eben ein Bohr, ich ein Chef, Zusammen über Wasser, wie bei Jammer Game on, sich nicht gekennt Man sieht da rin, man hat da Blick Man sieht da in, man ist drunter Glück Was Chef hat, man hebt die Hand Jeder eine schon mal ein Für das macht da in, dass alles gibt Bis ihr mich ja auch noch wohnen, mit ihr kennt Weil wir ja jetzt auch noch nicht Einer seht doch kein Mund, nicht allein Ein Spruch hier drüben, das sind der Mai Bika, jeder Mund Zu genach, noch mit Rach, wo ich schäm Wie mir geht, wie mir steht, hält man Bohr Ich hab schäm If I can tell you honestly, the Bells of Jerusalem have said that it's not a be a big shot if you say that you have a talent because it's from Hashem. So this song I wrote when I was 19 years old for MBD. I wrote this lyrics, Bruch Hashem. Fast forward a few years, Shweki came along and I had the honor to write for him lyrics on a very old classic, Tata Tata. And the reason it's coming in in this celebration it's because we know from Hasidus that the Oversak Doishim come down to each Chuppah. So we ask the Oversak Rumi Mitzvah Viyakiv to help us out. In a winkel steht Aid Alei Und die Tränen wie Wasser gießen 
אני בויכה עלינו, בימורה סמך פלא. מזכי סברום וביני עמנו, מזכוס יצחק רחמנו. אוך דהי נגיסי דיאנקב, אשתי תנבי, ונזה תת ונימור. never won anything before and I never imagined that I would win certainly not such a big prize but I obviously won and you can do it too number putting in prizes with Tenyad for I'd say at least five years now maybe more I don't remember if it was an email or an advertisement online but Something caught my attention, and I saw it was a Hachnas's Kala fund, and so I decided to uh, donate. I put in for a number of raffle prizes, and for one of the um, Split the Pots. I got a phone call uh, after midnight one night, and I thought it was a wrong number, so I didn't answer, and they started to leave a message, and I heard them saying it was 10 yad. So I picked up, and they told me that I wanted to split the pot, and I was beyond shocked. And it was very exciting. As a single mother, and having a daughter who now has started to date, um, I knew that at some point in the near future, hopefully, I will have a wedding to make in Ritz Hashem, and I wanted to be able to give her the wedding she deserves. And so winning this money is definitely going to come a long way to help her, um, as well as putting some of it away for some retirement money for me. I think that Ten Yad is definitely one of the top auctions that I've seen out there and I think they've got fantastic prizes and certainly the split the pot is a great prize and I can attest to that because I won a very nice sum of money. Just donate and you never know. Worst case, so you gave some staka and if not, then you just might win. It only takes one. Mm-hmm.
No way. <clears throat> okay, this you have to explain. The sages said that there's no wrong way to give tzedakah. And? I gave to Ted Yad. And you won a shot. Oh, that's what this is. By the way, the uh, Gemara is upside down. Hmm. Oh. So that's it. No more cashews. No. Well, it's time for the $10 prizes here at the 10 Yard Tenathon. Leepa's with me, and we're set to start. Prize number 77. It's $500 at the container store. Leepa, if you would, please. The winner is. A diamond Louis. three. Didn't I press it right? And the winner is, here we go. Hinda Halen, congratulations to you. Next is prize number 76, Apple AirPods Pro with wireless charging case. There are two winners for this. The first one is... No, the diamond ring already went for Hindi, I think. It's a, it's a different one. Are we talking about this? Apple AirPods Pro, yeah. There are two winners of this one. Prize 76. Should I press again then? Uh, I would not press again, I don't think. Maybe. Hang on. Let's see if it pops up. I guess we'll press it one more time. Go right ahead. Hannah Goldstein, congratulations. You're a winner. And we have one more of the Apple AirPods at prize number 76. And we say congratulations to, let's see who we got. Rachel Kornfeld, congratulations to you. Number 75 is $800 cash. Lipa, tell us who's the winner. Devora Hackner, it seems. Congratulations, Devora. Prize 74 is elegant A. Soliani shoes. Who will enjoy A. Soliani's splendid top quality designer Italian leather shoes? It's a $500 gift certificate, and the winner is... And M. Liner, congratulations. We're up to number 73, a Magic Mill or Bosch Universal Mixer. This is going to be a very attractive prize, and it's going to go to... Go right ahead, Lipa. Lipa has extended his hand on the big buzzer, and the winner is... Adina Miller, congratulations. Prize number 72 is where we're at. It's the Apple Watch series I number... This, can I ask you a question? Yes, yeah, sure. Is this... Is there a separate one? Do you have it, the three? Is this one only for the Ezra's Notion? Because I see only women are winning. Is there another one for the... Lipa, let's continue. Apple Watch series number six. And the winner of this prize is... Dina Laster, congratulations to you. Prize number 71 is where we're at. The elegant Capota, the elegant Capota and more. An $850 value at Primo Sacco Clothing. Sponsored by Primo and Sacco Clothing and Elegant Crown Heights Emporium. Featuring menswear for all occasions. The winner of prize number 71 is... Menachem Friedman, oh. Mazel Tov, and congratulations to you. It makes sense. It does make sense, I would agree. Before we continue, Lipa, let's welcome Yankee Markowitz of SBA Loan Group. Yankee Markowitz, SBA Loan Group, one of our great sponsors. He's going to help us here tonight. Yankee, welcome to the Tenathon. Thank you very much. Thank you. A pleasure to have you here. Uh, let's first talk about SBA Loan Group. What can you tell our audience about your unique company? Well, SB Loan Group is approaching their 10th year anniversary, thank God. We have helped hundreds, if not thousands, of small business owners obtain financing through the SBA program. If you're a small business looking for financing, give us a call. Nice. And what can you tell us about 10 Yard? What do you think is the highlight of this amazing organization? I can tell you for the past 40 years, 
as a kid, I remember Ten Yard. Well, I shouldn't say 40 years, but since the auction originated, I've been putting in my Hanukkah gelt, my Purim gelt, my bar mitzvah money. I have never won a prize. <laughs> that I can tell you for sure. <laughs> but yeah. I can tell you that Ten Yard does amazing things. You know why? Why is that? Because he didn't say if we need a loan for making Hasana. Come to SBA because he knows there's ten yard. They take care of it. It's a small very, business. Very, very we don't have an organization yeah. yet for businesses, so they take care. Yeah. All right, Yankee's going to help us by pressing the big red button. Prize number seven is the iRobot Roomba Wi Fi connected vacuum cleaner. Yankee, let's see who the winner is of this prize number 70. It's Chaya Cap. Congratulations to you. Next is prize Hi. number 69, the $500 Boy Teak gift certificate for over 20 years. Boitique has been the go-to destination for quality men's and boys' clothing. Yankee has, has hit the button, the big winner button, and the winner is P. Baumgarten. Congratulations to you at number 68. We've got the $500 at the Gap, Old Navy, or Banana Republic. Prize number 68. Yankee, one more time. Let's see who the big winner of this one is. The winner is... Shayna Newman, congratulations to you. We go to prize number 67. Ooh, Lipa, we can enjoy this one. $500 Uber or Uber Eats gift card. That sounds like a really nice prize, just like the others. Yankee, press that button and let's see who won. Prize number 67, it would be Moshe Javin. Congratulations to you. We go to prize number 66, which is $500 of uh, Mitzvah Kinder, Playmobil, or Lego sets. Yankee, one more time. Let's see who the winner is of this amazing prize. It's Esther Pfeiffer, and we say, Congratulations. And Yankee What Mark, about the Tesla this later? The Tesla's later. Yeah, can, you, I, can I buy a raffle? I don't know, Tesla? but you could definitely buy a raffle, but you're going to have to stick around for a while if you want to hear okay, the winner. It's okay, I'm going to wait No, really, I want to put in my, my daughter is here yeah. with me. I want to put in a raffle. How much is a raffle for the Tesla? <laughs> Who's you're putting me on the spot How much now, is a yeah. raffle for the Tesla? <laughs> Bleepa. <laughs> we'll find out for you. We'll get your sure, I want to put in one first. raffle for my daughter, ZC Schmelzer. Yeah. And uh, another raffle for Nochum Siegel Thank with the you. Tesla. <laughs> Can I fit in the Tesla? I don't even know. It depends which model. Can we say a big like thank you to Yankee Markowitz, please? One of our great spots. Yankee, thank you so much. And Yankee, today's days with everybody listening on the line for streaming music, I'm a pretty small business. I'll give you a call later. <laughs> give me a call. Cool. Prize I number guess... 65 is $500 at Solica. Solica's elevated wardrobes. Made in Los Angeles with high quality soft fabrics designed for beauty and comfort. Lipa, we have a winner of prize number 65. Hit the button and let us know who it is. It's the Stern family. Congratulations. We move on to number 64. It's four downright quilts and pillows. Two sets of this uh, incredible bedding. Prize number 64. I'm going to give it a shot right now. The winner is Deborah Rosenbaum. Congratulations. At number 63, we could pass the time with $500 worth of board games. I like that. We won't be bored with those board games. Lipa, hit the red button. Let everybody know who the big winner is. The winner is Method Method, a unique name and now like a big name. winner. I like the name. You like the name, huh? You might adopt it. Why not? Number 62 is a $600 worth of Judaica books. I know you want that. Uh, who wouldn't? $600 worth leap, but the winner is uh, for prize number 62 is uh, Rachel Matasov. Congratulations to you. Got a couple more to go in this segment. Prize number 61 is the Elegant Attica shirts. It's a $500 gift certificate. I hit the button, and the winner is going to appear on this screen Yisrael and Sterny Shachnowitz. Con Shanowitz, there you go. Congratulations, and thank you to everybody who's been supporting Tenyad tonight. We have one more to go. I need you to hit that one more time. It's prize number 60. It's $500 at Borsalino, and we're going to choose three winners. So get ready. We're going to start with the first one. Borsalino, as you saw, features luxurious Italian-made hats, including the iconic men's fedora. Three winners. Lipa, take it away. The first winner of prize number 60 is Karen Einstein. Congratulations. The second winner. I hope it's a Schreiber. 
You see, he never comes with a hat Need, because he needs a hat. Needs a new hat. That's a, yeah, that's... Second one is... Second winner is S.D. Feldman. Congratulations. And the final winner for this segment is... Mendel Naparstic and Lipa, I say thank you to you. Thank you. Let's go buy the Tesla therefore. Let's go get that Tesla. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as we move on into the next segment in our program, let's keep in mind the central theme of the work of Tenya to fulfill every Kala's dream. The dream they've had since they were a young girl to walk to the chuppah feeling like a queen, dressed in the most beautiful gown with kavod, elegance, and worry-free about how she will set up a new home and start her new life. We are now going to live that dream as we take you to the most beautiful chuppah you can ever imagine. gentlemen. His music fills our hearts and fills our homes. Please welcome the one and only Yaakov Shweki. Good evening, everybody. So good to be here for Teddy Yacht. 
What an amazing organization. Sang these songs for so many years. So many beautiful chuppas. Not everyone is soichet to be able to afford it. And Ten Yad gives that opportunity for a bride's dream to have these songs sung and enjoy it with a beautiful wedding. Ten Yad. That's Lichel. What an honor. Beautiful sounds to me with Freyla Orchestra. You guys sound great. Wherever you are watching, I'm sure you're singing along because you know these songs. No doubt in my mind. A beautiful crowd here too. Great memories, these songs. Can I see some hands with the crowd over here? Can I see somebody? I love it. What a crowd. Trying to see through the lights. Ten Yad, give me your hands. Give it to me. Yad Yad, say you did.
got to invite my dear friend. It's a beautiful song. Benny Friedman on the stage. Benny, come on. Give him a big hand. We're in your hometown, right? This is it. Ah, beautiful song by my dear friend Shlomo Yehuda Rechnet. Oh. I'm sure you're watching Shlomo Yehuda, LA. Big hand to you. Song? 
I see the money keep being given into Tenya. Keep calling the number, keep donating. Every dollar helps. Come on, Tenya. Thank you, Lipa, Benny. Fantastic job. Ten Yard would like to thank this evening's patrons. Mr. and Mrs. David and Malfi Smetana. Mr. and Mrs. Levy and Chayla Eckhaus of Sparkle's Gift and Party. SBA Loan Group. Our primary goal is to help package and place business loans for growing small business owners. Unlike big banks, SBA Loan Group takes a personal approach to client service, helping real people facing real challenges. We help our clients obtain financing by preparing them to get their financials in order before the actual application, partnering them with the best bank for their transaction, and finally, closing their loan. Give the SBA Loan Group a call and let us help you grow your business to its full potential. Elegant Linen by Ben Barber, curators of signature designer collections, the hallmark of the world's finest bed linens. Crown Woodworking, known and respected for top quality work, a custom-based company renowned for top craftsmanship, progressive design, and nearly infinite possibilities with exclusive features to suit every taste and budget. I would like to share a story with you that was related to me by one of the people that we've employed to help us with an upcoming wedding that when she got married a number of years ago, the lead up to her wedding was extraordinarily stressful for her because she had no idea where she was going to get to afford the things that she needed to furnish her home, to get all the necessary things that are needed for the home, china, linens. She discovered Ten Yad. I'm not sure if it wasn't Ten Yad that discovered her. And she was invited into their embrace like a kid in a candy store. She was able to choose her linens, all the items that she needed to provide and to start her new home. They also sent her to a seamstress and she was able to choose a wedding gown. They fitted her with a wedding gown. At her third fitting, a few weeks before her wedding, she brought the gown home, looked at herself in the mirror, and to her absolute distress, she hated the gown. She hated herself in it. She couldn't, she couldn't imagine wearing this gown to her wedding and she was distraught for a day, for two days. She was crying, she just didn't know how she would overcome this hurdle. 
Somebody recommended that she approach Ten Yad. She mustered up her courage and approached them, brought in the gown and said, I can't wear this. I just can't possibly wear this. This isn't me. And they looked at her and she expected what one might expect from a mother telling the child, you chose it and now you're going to wear it. And, but they looked at her and they said, Shefala, this is your wedding. You're going to be the happiest bride at your wedding. She immediately called the seamstress. She told this bride, go in, choose any gown that you like, and they will fit you in time for your wedding. The whole world opened up for her. She couldn't believe this kindness, the generosity of spirit, the dignity with which she was treated. Every bride deserves happiness on the run-up to her wedding, deserves that her wedding day should be the happiest day of her life. What Ten Yad did had, was above and beyond what anybody could have expected. I don't know that a parent could be more loving and considerate and caring, and they did it with dignity, and that she should feel that she is the center of attraction at her wedding. It was a labor of love. I always knew Tenya to be a giving organization, but to give from the heart, to give with their soul, this is completely unprecedented. It was over the top, and I must tell you, I will, will promote this message in a more deep way than I have ever promoted it before. Give a hand to Tenya. They need your support. What you just heard is one example. What you just heard is being replicated every day, all week, all month, and all year by the incredible people at Ten Yard. How could you not give something tonight? Not just for the prizes, but give something to keep Ten Yard going and making sure Kalas have what they need for their most important day. Speaking of prizes, by the way, we do have an important announcement. The ability to buy tickets for the $20 category prizes will be closing in just a few minutes. Again, it's only for the $20 prizes, and there's only a few minutes left. The prizes that are more expensive than that on the higher end will remain available for longer, and I'll let you know before they close. So make sure to log on, tenyad.org, or call the number on the screen, 347-667-7500, and put in your orders right now. Let's take a look at a few of the prizes you could win tonight. I mean, I'll, I'll remind our staff, we could use another microphone up here, thank you. The uh, Cartier watch is prize number one. Good to be number one. The brand new Tesla is prize number two. Prize number three has two winners of an $11,000 gift certificate to spend at Molly's Jewelers, and we thank our sponsor, Molly's, for that. Molly's is attainable luxury. At number four, prize number four, consider this, $15,000 worth of furniture at and thanks to Accentuations by Design and Abode Furniture, a great sponsor of Ten Yacht. Prize number six, you might want to consider the brand new Shaitel from Dini Wigs, sponsored, of course, by Dini Wigs. And another Shaitel at prize number 16, Barbara Custom Wig. A Barbara wig embraces you with its breathable, smooth-fitting lace, natural look, and beautiful hair. The luxurious Shaitel of your dreams. And again, one of the $20 prizes, which are closing soon, prize number 58, the brand new Weber Grill. Trust me, your steak will taste even better on this Weber Grill. I also want to take this opportunity to uh, announce that this event, this incredible event, and its entire floral decor has been designed by Hani Greenbaum's floral and event design, impeccable style, exquisite design, seamless execution, and a well-deserved round of applause. It is my pleasure to introduce to this worldwide audience Rabbi Chase Taub. He's a renowned columnist in Ami Magazine. He's a very much 
sought-after speaker and lecturer. Please give a nice warm welcome to Rabbi Shays Taub. Rabbi Taub, a happy tenathon to you. Happy tenathon. Where's my camera, by the way? Where should I look? Uh, I think right there, right if there. you just look in that direction. Right. Rabbi Taub, many of us know that you as a rabbi provide guidance for so many families and individuals in our community, and obviously that includes young couples. Did you ever hear of this 10 yard organization when you deal with young couples? Yes, yes. Um, so let me, leave, let me maybe paint a picture for you a little sure. bit. Sure. You have a young couple, and they're headed toward the biggest day of their life. And usually where I come in, I mean, I'm not an event coordinator, so they're not calling me for catering. They're calling me, you know, for you know, spiritual stuff. Got it. Hash hashkafa, you know, a worldview. And they want to set up their Jewish home in the right way. And you can sense that in many cases, there's a weight on them, and they can't focus on the spiritual stuff because they're concerned about making ends meet, sure. and their parents feel pressure, and they in turn, they feel that the, the Hosen Kala feels that pressure. And you see, like when a Kala comes back from, the, Tenyad has this boutique where it's, they, they pick any wedding dress, they can, anything their heart desires, five star, top of the line, and Akala comes back from that experience, a weight has been lifted. And what I want people to understand is when that weight is lifted, because the material stuff is taken care of by Tenyad, now this Kala can focus on the spiritual preparations and really build a strong home. So the, the ramifications are far more than what you even think. When you give somebody that relief, and it it's a real relief when uh -huh. that's taken care of for them. It's, it's such a gift, such a gift. No question about it. Also, as you know, it's no secret to anybody watching, uh, there are many worthy causes that deserve our sure. attention. A lot of great chesed organizations. Thank God, it is yeah. one thing the Jewish community is known for. It's tremendous chesed. Why should someone focus more of their attention and their financial support on Tenyat? That's a good question. Um, and you're right, Baruch Hashem, Ken Yerbu, there are so many good causes in the, in the Jewish world today, and we should support all of them. Sure. We should support all of them. I mean, first of all, everyone who davens, you know every day before davening. You don't, you don't even have to get to davening. Before davening, we mention in, uh, in the morning brachas, hachnosas kala is one of, the, one of those mitzvahs that has a benefit for the one who does it in this world as well as in the next world. In, uh, in Shulchan Aruch, Yeridea Reish Mem Tess, it talks about treasurers of communal funds. And it actually says something very interesting, I don't think a lot of people know, that if there's a surplus of communal funds, it's a good, good problem to have, right? Halavai. Halavai. So the only mitzvah it mentions where that sur surplus should go, it says it should go to Hachnos' Kala, and the Mechaber says, She'ein tzedakah g'dayla mezu. There's no greater tzedakah. Nothing. No, that's the only mitzvah he mentions. That's the only tzedakah he mentions. Now, if I can get a little Hasidic for a minute, you know, they go deeper, the mystical side of it. Think about it like this. Every act of tzedakah we do, tzedakah is a physical act. You do with, with material resources, with, with, with monetary funds. It's a mundane thing. Right. But you turn the mundane into holy by doing it, making it into a mitzvah. So every, every act of tzedakah is making the world a home for Hashem, a dira b'tachtoinim, a home for Hashem. And Hashem is going to be the chosin, and we're going to be the kala. Matan teira, that was the engagement, it was a good vort, but we're, we want to go to the, to the real thing with Mashiach, <laughs> right? So we're trying to make a home for the real chosin kala, for Hashem and B'nai Yisrael. How do you make that home in the macro, in the whole world, by doing it in the micro? Every Jewish home you set up is bringing that closer to the entire world. Right. So it's just, it packs such a punch, such an impact from that mitzvah. Now, I was going to ask you about uh, conveying to this worldwide audience why Hachnas is Kala is such an inspiring mitzvah. You, you sort of addressed that just now, but you have additional thoughts. Is there anything you'd like to add to that to inspire people to understand why Hachnas is Kala is just so special? If they're, if they're not cutting off my mic, I could add to it. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> I'll give you a little more inspiration. And, and 
And this is, you know, we're talking about hachnosis kala in the literal sense. But I want to talk a little bit about hachnosis kala also in the figurative sense. How you can have a hachnosis kala attitude toward everything in life. Yeah. I'll tell you what it means. Okay. There's a story in the Gemara, in the Mishnah actually, in Nidorim. Nidorim means vows. It's all about people making vows. There's a story about a guy. His family was nudging him for a certain shidduch, and he didn't want. And there, his reasons were actually very shallow reasons. He, he, he didn't find the girl attractive, and he, he said, you know what, get off my back. I'm making a nether, I'm making a vow, I'll never marry this girl. So now you're stuck. You got to leave me alone. So what did they do? They brought this girl to Rabbi Yishmoel, the Tana. Rabbi Yishmoel <laughs> took matters into his own hands. He gave this girl a makeover. Imagine that? A Tana. He gave this girl a makeover. Rashi says he gave her jewelry, he gave her a dress, like Tanya. Yeah, he, right. he really he took care of it. And then they called this Chavraman, they called the guy over, and they said, Hey, Rabbi Shmuel asked the guy, This is who you said you would never marry? Now she looks stunning. He says, No, that wasn't who I said. The Gemara says, But Isha, at that moment, Bacha. Rabbi Yishmael. Rabbi Yishmael started to weep. The Amr and he said, Kol b'nei Yisrael no'es. All Jewish girls are beautiful. Aloha aniyas, but poverty, nevalton, it mars their beauty. Every Jewish person, you know, the neshama is called bas tziyayin. Every neshama is like a bride. Even for us guys, we have feminine souls. The neshama is a feminine entity. That's why it's the kala to Hashem. Hashem is the chosim. Every Jewish soul is like a beautiful bride. But sometimes for superficial reasons, because of the aneas, the poverty of being embodied in this world, being in a physical world where there's distractions and there's temptations and there's confusion and, and being in Golis, being in exile for the past 2,000 years, that stuff takes a toll. But we have to know that that's external wear and tear. So we, we can have a hachnosis kala perspective on everything, on raising our children, on, on, on marriage, and, and dealing with your neighbors and dealing with community members. If you see somebody that doesn't look so ay ay ay, stop and have the Hachnosis Kala attitude of Rabbi Yishmael say, no, they are beautiful. They just need a little, a little makeover, a little tenyad treatment, and then you're going to see this diamond in the rough shining. We could just apply that to each other and, and bring out each other's best. I've seen the tenyad treatment. They do a really good job at it, let me tell you. <laughs> and I know you know that. <laughs> Baruch Hashem. And we, have, we could all do that as well as supporting, and I'm sure everybody's supporting tonight, as well as supporting, giving their money to donate. And you can win stuff, right? Yeah. Okay? As well as supporting tenyad. Let's also make a resolution to start giving each other, all of each other, Hachnosis Kala treatment of Rabbi Yishmoel and try to see the beauty in each other because it's there. Thank you so much for being here tonight. My pleasure. Rabbi Taub and I, and frankly, everybody in this beautiful studio, encourage all of you to support Ten Yad right now. Great prizes. You may want to give even without an interest in prizes. You've all seen and heard the impact that you can have on a young bride. For one day, imagine, we as a community worry about someone's one day. We ask you to now please open your hearts. If you have the ability, Call and pledge and help five kalas build their home for $10,000. Rabbi Taub and I can tell you from our research that the, our friends at Ten Yad, they have an average cost of $2,000 per kala. For a $10,000 donation, you can support five kalas. We have a goal tonight to help an additional 100 kalas, which of course would cost $200,000. And we're asking all of you to please open your hearts and give Staka Lishma. We're waiting for your call. I want to be able to announce, mention it live, that you're in fact making a commitment to support one or two or five or ten kalas. We're encouraging you to do so and we encourage others to follow your lead. Now please be the first 
to place that call and to make sure that this spe special campaign of $200,000 for Kalos will come to fruition and will achieve its goal. Now we're going to move on to the Simchas, Chassan, and Kala in a way we've never seen before. There are many traditions and styles in Jewish culture, and we want to represent all of them tonight. Enjoy this dazzling display of song and dance on a level never done before as we welcome our dancers to the stage. Freilich, take it away! Hey, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. 
mich steil. Was Strohes will am Main, wir tappen dem Getreide. Bei Weiner Lauf in Weil, bei Jäser in Meier. Die Wehme käme ich schreien, wir tappen dem Getreide.
stop the music. Stop, 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 stop. Did I ever do? Did I ever do? Did I ever do? F and twelve, F and twelve, F and twelve.
The Tenathon would like to thank this evening's sponsors. Dini Wigs. Expertly crafted and meticulously designed, Dini Wigs are at the forefront of comfort and sophisticated trends. Made from the highest quality, untreated European hair and the lightest, most resilient and comfortable nets, Dini Wigs are luxurious and exquisitely natural looking. Available worldwide through select distributors or through virtual orders using exclusive 3D technology through the Dini From Home department. Dini Wigs enhance every woman's natural beauty with the perfect finishing touch. Guaranteed rate. Shimmy Globeman has been a residential mortgage lender for over 16 years. He enjoys helping first time and seasoned home buyers as well as investors achieve their dreams of home ownership. With Shimmy, you don't only get low rates and great service, but you'll have someone on your team who truly cares and puts your best interests first. A majority of the realtors and attorneys who work with Shimmy refer him to their own family members. True evidence of the honesty, dedication, and reliability you're guaranteed to have when you choose Shimmy at guaranteed rate. Accentuations by design and abode furniture. A proud sponsor of Ten Yacht and a three generation legend in exclusive furniture. Showrooms are conveniently situated in Brooklyn, Cedarhurst, and most recently, Monroe, New York. With a curated collection of unique furniture, decor, and seating options on display, Accentuations and its Cedarhurst designer showroom abode have most notably been lauded for bespoke custom furniture designs and sought after designer pieces that are as unique as the homes they grace. Mahon Stam. MYS Buying Group. MB Travel. Teen Boutique. The Law Offices of Charles Wortman. Thank you very much. Just a few minutes ago, before the incredible dance set, I mentioned that there's a special campaign going on, separate from all the prize money that's been donated tonight. And that is the campaign to sponsor five kalas for $10,000. We ask everybody here and around the world to please text 347-992-3708 and make sure to give whatever you can so that two hundred thousand dollars is raised and 100 kalas are taken care of with a special message for everybody around the world but specifically for those of you sitting with us here tonight please welcome rabbi shmari gurari welcome everybody to the tenathon 2021 i want to share with you a personal message Thank God I grew up in a home that when I got married, my parents had enough to provide for my wedding with dignity. But I also grew up in a home that I saw what it means, Hachnasas Kala. My mother, may God bless her, with a bunch of other women who are running the committee of Ten Yad, have been running this organization to help out hundreds of Kalas every year get married with dignity. Our sages tell us, that we sell a Sefer Torah, the holiest object that the Jewish people have in order to marry off a widow, a Yesayma. Ten Yad helps out tens of Yesaymas every year to get married. Ten Yad helps out hundreds of Kalas every year to get married, but they come into Ten Yad, they don't feel like they're a Nebach. They come in, they get, they get first class treatment. Just walk into their showroom, you feel like you're on Fifth Avenue with a gown, with first plat and everything is free. Tonight, I want to set a goal. Besides all the prizes, lishma, to help out another 100 kalas. Every kala is, is $2,000 times 100. We're looking to raise $200,000 tonight. Please, we already have somebody who went online and donated $10,000. Thank you, Rabbi Rechnitz from California. We're looking for $190,000. Please take upon yourself. I'm going to be around the crowd. We want to raise to help out another hundred kalas to get married with dignity. Every morning we say in Elu Devarim, Hapeya Babikurim Varaya, and we say, 
Machnasas Kala, Havaya Sames. Chazal tell us why is Machnasas Kala next to Havaya Sames escorting the dead? Because whoever helps out the Kala to get married, Hashem will save them from Havaya Sames, Rahman al Islam. So I turn to you from the bottom of my heart. I ask you to please open up your hearts, open up your wallets, and take on a pledge tonight that we could raise, besides all the raffles, Lishma, to help out another hundred Kalas get married with dignity, $200,000. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rabbi Garari. And I remind you, if you want to do it here, you literally can speak to Rabbi Garari personally. If you'd like to do it from anywhere around the world, the number is 347 992 37 Oh, hey. Can we please have Benny and Lipa with us? Benny and Lipa, please join us around the big red buzzer, the big red button, so we can give out some more prizes. We're up to some $20 prizes. Just waiting for our guests. Here's Benny. So far, so good with that one, right? Break the whole concert. <laughs> you can say that again. And Lipa's back. Now, I warn you, Lipa's an expert at this, so, you know... Play along. Lipa and Benny will take turns uh, deciding who the winners are. It's prize number 59, $1,300 at Macy's H&M Zara or Kass. Benny, let's uh, gently hit the button and come up with a winner for prize number 59. And the winner is... Shane Gervitz, congratulations to you. The Weber Barbecue Grill is prize number 58. I'm going to ask Lipa to touch the fancy red button and come up with a winner. And the winner of the Weber Barbecue Grill is CZ Rexon. Congratulations. Prize number 57, the incredible Costco or BJ's $1,300 gift card. Wow. You can... You could drive home with a lot of stuff in your Tesla from BJ's or Costco for $1,300. Uh, whose turn is it? Is this uh, Benny's turn? Prize number 57, the winner is... Michal Sherman, congratulations to you. We go to prize number 56, $1,300 at Target. Lipa says that prize number 56... <laughs> goes to Kaula Wortman. Congratulations to you. At number 55, we have $1,300 at Kitty Chic, Louis Bell, Flying Colors Baby, or Lily and Todd. I read them like I know who they are. I like that. Prize number 55 in the $20 category, Benny Friedman, using some fancy calisthenics to tell us that the winner is... R.N. Congratulations. Prize number 54 is described as a lustrous becher and tray. It's worth $1,500, and it comes courtesy of our friends at Elite Sterling. Leap is ready to tell us that the winner is R.N. Boy, nothing like an auction when it's the same winner twice in a row. Prize number 53 in the $20 category is the Universe of Beauty Sephora, another $1,300 gift certificate. Benny, with his fancy elbow, tells us that the winner is... Goldie Lobenstein at number 53. Congratulations. Our good friend Shimmy Globeman of Guaranteed Rate. Shimmy Globeman of Guaranteed Rate, could you join us up here, please? Before we continue, is Shimmy with us? There he is. Shimmy, welcome to the Tenathon. Say hi to Lipa and Benny. Shimmy, thank you very much. All right, you know the two questions. It's very simple. First, tell this wonderful audience what is guaranteed rate. Guaranteed rate is one of the second or third largest residential lenders in the U.S. So if anybody needs a mortgage, a refinance, to buy a home, to, to get an investment property, it's going to come from us. Very nice. A gentleman, any, anybody looking? Call tomorrow, tomorrow. <laughs> where, do you, where do you want to buy? Huh? Where do you want to buy? In Bronx. No, we don't do the Bronx. <laughs> and Shimmy, uh, as a wonderful sponsor of this event and this wonderful organization, could you tell everybody why you're so in love with Ten Yard? Yeah, so Ten Yard and Guarantee Rate are both building homes. The advantage is that Ten Yard is building a bias Nemon. We, however, are giving the, fulfilling the American dream. 
least Can I tell you why, Taka, you come in here more than anybody else? It's because it's usually the hard-working people, the people who come from families that don't have money to make a wedding, and the family have to ask ten yad. Those are the couples who usually work so hard to succeed, and they're the first one to buy a new home for themselves. Uh, nice. nice. Benny, wow. Well, thank you for being here. And guess what? Benny and Leeper are giving up the big red button to you because we're up to prize number 52, which is an $1,800 Visa gift card. Shimmy's got the button, and we've got a winner. And the winner of prize number 52 is Lisa Weber. Congratulations. Shimmy, stay right there because prize number 51 needs a winner. It's a $1,300 gas card. May not go as long a way as it did a year ago, but after all, it's $1,300. And the winner is... Levy Carp. He'll be filling it up. All right, Levy. The Apple Store comes in at the prize number 50. $1,300 to, to spend rather at the Apple Store. Shimmy, press the button. Let's see who the winner is. Missy SM, congratulations to you. Next up is prize number 49, $1,400 at Trader Joe's. There's a lucky winner of this one. Who is the winner of the $1,400 at Trader Joe's? Alyssa Ziff, congratulations to you. Prize number 48 is what we're up to. It's a $1,400 gift card to Wayfair.com. Prize number 48 has a winner. Shimmy says that winner is... Slava N, congratulations to you. And a big thank you to Shimmy Globeman. Shimmy, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you. Waiting for my call, yeah? <laughs> Are you going to be in touch with everybody who joins us on stage tonight? Is that your intention? It's a guaranteed rate, you know. It's guaranteed, all right. Uh, prize number 47 is a $1,400 to spend at Home Goods, Bed Bath & Beyond, or Marshalls. Lipa, let us know who's the winner of prize number 47. The left elbow says the winner is Shifra Shane. Congratulations. At number 46, Benny Friedman's going to tell us who the winner is of the latest iPhone or Android smartphone. Benny, take it away. We found the winner, and the name is Rifka Cohen. Congratulations. And prize number 45, Leepa, is $1,300 at the Sassaver Svarim store. Oh, I won that. Not bad. Sassaver Svarim store. Yeah. Elish Prize is going to make a she with me. You ever heard of the Sassaver Svarim store? It's a special Svarim. And the winner is... Lipa says the winner is... Mishpachas Bruchstadt. Congratulations to you. They've got $1,300 worth. You know, I have to spark. say that from all the winners, about 75 winners today, everything was appropriate. The jewelry went to a woman, and the, the, the shoes and the hat went to a man, and the svurim from Sasa went to a mishpacha. You're becoming very philosophical here at the Ten Yacht event. I like that. Prize number 44 is a baby stroller of your choice. Let's see Benny if this one goes to a baby. And Benny, <laughs> very good. You'll get Lipa, won't you? The winner is Rachel Morrison. And I thank both Lipa and Benny Friedman, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you so much. Gewaldi, 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 Gewaldi. Gewald is right. Real Gewaldic. The $25 category prizes are going to be closing in minutes. Um, get in on the action right now and win something big. Log on to tenyad.org or call the number on your screen, 347-667-7500, and put in your orders. Now, again, the $25 category of prizes closing in minutes. We have a special promo for you. It's the only promo tonight. So listen carefully. From now until the end of the evening, if you're here, listen carefully. If you're at home, listen carefully. From now until the end of the evening, prize numbers one and two, the Cartier watch and the three-year lease of a new Tesla, something for the men and for the women. Don't worry, I know the women like the Tesla also. Normally $150 for each ticket. They are now two for $200. Log on now or call. Add two to your cart when you're online, and the discount will be automatically applied. Again, right now, three-year lease of a Tesla, the Cartier watch. They're both at $150 a ticket. Right now, it's the bargain of the night. Two tickets for $200. Log on, 
tenyard.org and um, make your purchase and support an amazing and incredible organization. All right, it is time to welcome back. Are we going to a video? Is that a yes? Okay, we'll go to this video and plenty more coming up. Keep on logging on and purchasing at tenyard.org. The Tenathon would like to thank this evening's sponsors. Plumber's Haven, established in 2006. Plumber's Haven services all decorative plumbing and hardware fixtures for both commercial and residential structures. Come visit our brand new state-of-the-art showroom in Crown Heights at 516 Empire Boulevard, Brooklyn, New York. Our warm and friendly staff, known for their exceptional service, look forward to greeting you and helping with all your decorative plumbing and hardware fixture needs. Mediterranean Balance by Nutrisupreme. Mediterranean Balance offers a line of potent vitamins and minerals that are meant to supplement a person's diverse nutrient needs. Only the purest ingredients are sourced from around the world and collected to create high-quality, science-based dietary supplements to support a healthy lifestyle. Try them today, and you'll be amazed at the results. Hey, Ruvain. Hey, Ruvain. Can I get, can I get five pounds of flanken, please? Ruvain? Uh, do you have any more of that, uh, what's it called, uh, Yapchig left? It's Tuesday. Who's asking? Wait, hey. what? You, you again? Listen, I gotta, I gotta spin this somehow. But how do you have an $8,400 gift card to Gourmet Glot? Ten yards. Exactly. This is, Friend. this is, what in the world are you doing with Schmaltz Herring? It, it's an acquired taste. If you don't know, you don't know. Aha. Uh -huh. uh. Thank you. And what are you going to do with that? Oh, my cousins love the smoky aftertaste. Huh. And between me and you, the latkes are gewaldic. The, the latkes are... Huh. Here's your blanket. Uh, yeah, great, thanks. Um, can, can I get a, a latke? I'm telling you, you gotta try the jalapeno with the schmaltz. Fire combination. You gotta try it. Schmaltz? <laughs> I'm still recovering from Pesach. Hey, everybody in our beautiful ballroom and everybody around the world, please help me welcome the one and only Yaakov Shweki. Remember that one? Very well. Good live performance. Very, very well. <laughs> oh, boy. It's been a while since I've seen you. Great to reunite for a 10 yard. A little bit of a history lesson as I ask you something about your background. Your father is a Syrian Egyptian Sephardi, if I have that right. Your mother, an Ashkenazi lady. How do you feel all of that combination has affected your musical style? He asked. <laughs> Always great questions, and many times, Tzvi, give me a little piano, please, if you don't mind. I need some music. Many times I do interviews with Nahum, it's at 5.30 in the morning. So I'm barely waking up as we do it in the studio. Now it's uh, this is, after this, 9 o'clock. This is better for you? <laughs> Much better time for me. But he asked me my background and how it affected the music. I think it affected it greatly because... I didn't know that growing up, obviously. We had different foods. My mother did the kugel. She learned how to, you know, uh, bake and cook other things that were very difficult for her to do. Um, but my mother comes from a Hasidic background. So to take somebody, 
you know, totally, even by my father's side, they said, what, an Ashkenazi girl to a totally Sephardic, what's going to be with these children? What are they going to turn out like? And it affected greatly the music because I was able to uh, obviously start out more Ashkenazic style. Right. I was going to say, that would be fair to say. Then right? I said, you know what? We've got to change this thing up. We've got to change it up. Many Ashkenazim were the first ones, and Hasidim too, by the way, the first ones after the album Libi Mizrach, and even after Kiatov came out with Yossi Green. Wow, thank you, Yaakov. Thank you. A breath of fresh air. I said, okay, we did something right. You know, and this is something that they wanted. Different flavor. Obviously, with authenticity, we took, uh, you know, Israeli arrangers, Sephardic right. arrangers to produce it. It was a whole different way. But now at every Ashkenaz wedding, they're singing songs like Inshallah. So you know what I mean? That's uh, that's the way the world works. So turns. one second, do you connect more? Do you gravitate more to one of the styles now or not? Listen, it was just not too long ago, Sukkot, where I did a L'chaim Nachas concert for totally Hasidic, totally Hasidic Jeoilam, where many people said, what? You never know what's coming next. You never know what's coming next. But I love it. I love to do different things. And also, Klali Sral is made up with so many different, beautiful people coming from different backgrounds, and they want different things to connect to. I loved it, and I enjoy it, and you never know what's coming next. By the way, I have to mention, you're an international traveler, as a lot of stars are here tonight. A few hours ago, you were in Morocco. So, kolakavod, that you joined us here this evening, frankly. You revealed the secret. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry, but I'm amazed by it. Uh, you come out to the Jewish music scene years ago. Avraham was here tonight, Mordechai and David. We're talking about amazing stars. You come around to the scene. Rachem, for those of us who remember, explodes. What do you remember about those days, and what do you attribute your success to years later? What do I remember about those were the days, huh? I remember <laughs> so many good things. Starting off, you know, speaking to my mother before I even got married, and she tells me, what's going to be? What are you going to do for Parnosa? And I said, you got you to go to college. Get a degree or something. And do. I said, Ma, I'm staying and learning, and we'll see what happens. Maybe the learning with combination with music. And one of my first concerts was in a college, and I invited my mother. Wow. And I said, Ma, I made it to college. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> at least but you know what? I loved, I loved those days. I still love these days, the years of just enjoying to sing for so many different... You said Morocco. He right. revealed it. I didn't want to say it, but I was there, and the right hand to the king was there at this wedding. It was a very, very big wedding. And they asked me to sing. And you saw how he, we did different types of songs, obviously, Sephardic and Ashkenaz and different. And you saw how he gravitated. And he asked me afterwards, the right hand guy to the king, he said, I want to get some more Jewish music. How do, I, uh, how do I get this? And I had to explain him and all that and how we take Psukim and Tehillim. Right. And it's a spiritual message. It's not just a, you know, who knows what. We take Psukim, we take you know, different verses from King David and Tehillim and everything we do, and we turn it into music because I told them the combination of the great verses of old from the wisest, you know, of men who wrote these words and combination with music, that elevates it to a whole nother level. He was very impressed, and uh, I'm back here from Morocco, Baruch Hashem V'ten Yad. Continue, guys, to give to this wonderful organization that really makes weddings possible for so many people that would only dream to have a choir like this and a band and everything that they need. And that's their day of their life that they look to as a memory, as the greatest memory. So Ten Yad, it is such an opportunity in his chus to be here for you guys. And we're gonna ask Yaakov Shweki to perform some of the amazing songs that we alluded to. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Yaakov Shweki. Thank you, Nachum. Oh, those were the days. Look at that. Yalla Nachma! Nineteen ninety-nine started working on this album. First song on the first album. I think around 2001 by Yossi Green. Thank you, Hashem. Give me the greatest opportunity to sing for Amisro so many years. 
Bezat Hashem by all of us would help. Amen, amen. I know Linda and Mark Karasik are watching. Linda, I'm back on stage. Look at that. And waiting for your chicken soup. Show Mati, show you, oh, 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 You did a fantastic job.
Sing them again. to my dear friend Ken Burgess, I love a shalom. Tears have fallen, many years we call it peace, and no more. Many broken hearted, friends lost and departed, please, no more. Now the time has come, everyone must stand together. And 
be strong forevermore. Young and helpless children, illness and confusion, please, you know what? Weapons of destruction, terror and corruption, please. Return and stay this time forever And let his glory shine again Beautiful way. 
weddings happen. Come on, everybody. All of you at home, let's go. It's amazing. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. What a beautiful feeling it is here tonight to see a beautiful organization for Am Yisrael get help from so many different people. It's a tribute to everybody calling in. Continue calling in. But there's no doubt in my mind that in Shomayim they're looking down and seeing the chesed, seeing the beautiful love to one another, helping people, some people who you may never know. You make their dream, you make their life, you make their wedding. Every single dollar you give. There's no doubt in my mind that in Shomayim, the yard site of today, which is Mama Rochel, Rochel Imenu, she was the one buried in a roadside grave because she wanted and she knew that Am Yisrael needed her in so much grief and sorrow through the exiles. So many people pray till today at her grave. Mama Rochel, we ask you cry for us one more time and Bezrat Hashem, the redemption will come. Now your voice is still As you heed the call Of me Nico in Me Berchi It's our Father's will He who made us all Dare we ask of you to defy Him Oh no Yet a frightened child Known from pain Pain and grief Remains Forlorn And uncertain Clinging to The way That it can be Heard Has it cries Sing along my friends to its mother. Oi, Mama Rocha, cry for us again. Won't you shed a tear for your dear children? If you raise your sweet voice, now is then the day will go. Oh, Mama, Mama, cry for us again. Won't you shed a tear for your dear children? He's a good day. I 
If you raise your sweet voice, now we stand. The day will come, Rachel Imenu, Mame. Rachel Imenu, Sikole. Et je vous ai dit, moi, Le Kodel. Bise routeir, Beshov ou Bonim, Likbou, Lobo. Thank you so much for having me, guys. Thank you. Mama Rachel, one more time. Oh. Ten Yard would like to thank this evening's patrons. Mr. and Mrs. David and Malki Smetana. Mr. and Mrs. Levy and Chayla Eckhaus of Sparkle's Gift and Party. East Side China. East Side China has been a favorite destination of brides and homemakers for 30 years and attracts shoppers from across the region with their breathtaking collection of China and outstanding customer care. Everything but the baby. Renowned for their expertise in the juvenile and furniture market, Everything But The Baby is proudly located in the heart of Brooklyn and serves customers nationwide. Khani Greenbaum Floral and Event Design. Impeccable style, exquisite design, seamless execution. Drimmers. Solika. Rubashkin's Meat. Madison Commercial Real Estate Services. Table One. 718 Insurance. All right, we're live, everybody. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank our partners tonight, Mr. and Mrs. Ezreal and Gitti Rappaport of... Uh, Kettle and Cord, thank you very much for your support of Ten Yacht. Also, we have a, a great announcement. We mentioned earlier the special campaign uh, going on aside from, the, uh, aside from the prize campaign, the donations coming in for prizes. That's, of course, trying to raise as much money for Kala's at $2,000 per Kala as possible. Thank you to Shmuley Simpson of Simpo Travel the best and most honest travel agency you'll ever find. Follow them at Simpo, S-I-M-P-O, Travel, on Instagram. A generous donation to the campaign of $5,000. Thank you very much. All right. It is now with great pleasure that I ask everybody here and everybody around the world to please welcome the one and only Avramo Avram Freed. <laughs> Abremo, a pleasure to reunite with you at Ten Yad. Yes, indeed. Great to see you. Great to be here for Ten Yad. You know, when a singer comes out on stage, he's nervous. Yeah. Trust me, he's yeah. nervous. But if he looks behind him and he sees the stage is ready, the maestro is ready, the orchestra is ready, the choir is ready, the sound is good, the lighting is good, he can relax. Same thing with a young couple starting out on their journey 
And if everything is, when they come into the apartment and they see that everything is set, they have furniture, yeah. they have pots and pans and towels and accessories, what a relief that is for a young couple. And that, of course, is what Ten Yad does, helps alleviate the stress and the fear and the pain of a new journey for a young Hassan Kala. So tonight, every penny you give is going to help. You know, Hassan Kala is a very, very catchy phrase. Hassan Kala. Everyone loves to give for Hassan Kala. But once they're married and they get their life off on the right foot, that's where Ten Yad comes in. So Ten Yad, please give generously to Ten Yad and Hashem will bless you a thousandfold. Tenyad.org, of course, and thank you for that. It's an amazing cause. Um, 40 years in Jewish music. Could, could you give me a change or two? Could you give me a difference or two between 40 years ago and today? Hmm. I think it's, it's, I think it's the audience. As long as the audience wants to hear you sing, that gives you the koyach. And the, uh, look at that. You see what I, I mean? I like look that. Look at that. You see, that just gave me another 40 years. You know what I mean? It's just simple. <laughs> Bali <Okay>. Ayadara. <laughs> uh, speaking of singers, there are a lot of singers in your family. Nephews, of course, very well known, great performers. Where does the music come from in your family? What is it about your mishpacha that has attracted so much music over the generations? Well, our Shabbos home was filled with, with Zmiris, the Shabbos table. Um, my parents, all the Alei Masholim, were very musical. My Zayda, my Zaydis. So uh, music was always a part of our, of our home. And uh, the whole family is beautiful to come and listen when we're all together and sing Shabbos Miris or Yom Tiv's Miris. So it's just uh, a heavenly gift, I guess. One of the greatest contributions I think your family made with all the things that have been done is the Zmiris album that are classics from your family and spread now throughout the entire world. Nachum, thanks for the plug. <laughs> you got it. All right, I, uh, I ask you a question that we actually asked your nephew earlier. Uh, we speak about Ten Yad, we think about weddings. Give me, over all these years, one memorable wedding episode or something that happened that sticks out of your mind at a great Jewish wedding. I remember having the good fortune to sing at a wedding with the Chosen and the Kala, who were both in wheelchairs. I'll never forget that. Wow. Very happy wedding, despite the fact that they had these challenges. What a beautiful simcha, and what a great schus it was for me to bring some simcha at that wedding. I'll never forget that scene. Wow. Then, of course, there was a wedding, I think it was in Guatemala, where I was dancing the kazachka. Back in the day, I can do it. You know what the kazachka is? You know where you're I, down? I remember it. One in fact, I remember the... you doing it very well. Oh, yeah. Right. But for some reason, something, I don't know, something happened, and my knee gave out, something popped, and I tore my meniscus at a in wedding Guatemala. in Guatemala, of all places. But Baruch Hashem, I'm, I'm good now. I'm glad to hear it that. It took me 40 years, but I'm good now. Wow, amazing. All right, we spoke about Ten Yad. You're obviously very knowledgeable about the, uh, knowledgeable about the organization. Um, is there anything else that you could tell us about young Kalas and young Hassanim, young people who are getting married that need the support of people from the worldwide community? I think that uh, the most important thing is to have good Jewish music in your home. <laughs> That's the secret for a happy, long-lasting marriage. Well, can't argue Good with that. Good music. Can't argue Freilach with that. in the house. Can't argue with that. And if anybody knows Jewish music, it's yourself. Thanks, Avrami. <laughs> All right, we've got something special for everybody now. Would you mind playing this Jewish music trivia game with me? It's what I'm here for. All right, Avrami's going to be asked some questions. All of you at home and everybody here, you can play along. Uh, these are uh, questions about... Well, Jewish music trivia. This is new. And you okay. may want, it's possible that you may want to uh, chime in uh, as you reminisce about some of these songs with us. You may want to chime in for a minute or two on these. Before I begin, by the way, let me remind the audience that the $35 prizes are closing in a few minutes. And you're being encouraged to get your tickets in now. In fact, I'm told 15 minutes from now, 15 minutes from now, prize number 35 is a fabulous KMR vacation. I know you're very familiar with the oh, folks yes. at KMR. Prize number 16 is the luxurious shaitel of your dreams. I'm not so familiar with that. <laughs> from Barbara Wiggs, a wig enjoyed by women the world over. Uh, what else do we have up there? At prize number... I'm trying to think off the top of my head. At prize number 11, you know how expensive leases are right now. You can get a brand new two-year lease of a minivan or a car 
and so many other great prizes. The last chance to grab a ticket and make your dream come true. So as we say in the vernacular, go for it. All right, Avramo, question number one. Which album did the song Vinnie Casey originally appear on? Was it A, Ellie Lipsker's Children's Choir, B, Camp Shalva, C, Camp Stay Chemed, or D, Chazak? Do you have an answer for us? Wait a second. I thought the question was going to go to the audience. <laughs> I'm supposed to know these answers. They're just playing along. These oh. are, we, we have you being grilled with all oh, these questions. I thought it, all right, all right, all right. Let's see. Ellie Lipsker's Children's Choir, Camp Shalva, Stay Chemed, and Chazak. I'll go with Camp Stay Chemed. You're 100% right. Does it sound familiar to you? Who composed Vinnie Casey? Do you, I'm going to ask you a question. Who composed Vinnie Casey? Give me a drum roll, Avrami. Amazing that I can't place it. Wow. Really? Well, two composers composed Vinnie Casey. It was a team effort. Yisrael Lam, Tsuyang Langior, and Eli Teitelbaum. Wow. They wrote that together. Amazing. If I may add that tonight, today, Yud Aleph Cheshvin was the yard site of a dear friend, first yard site of Sruli Teitelbaum, Olav Asholim, who, the brother of Eli. Sure. So I figured I'd mention that. And very soon, come back and join us with the coming of Mashiach. Amen. Question number two. So far, I'm doing good. So far, you're one for one. Does the song Kel Hados ring a bell? The words Kel Hados, does that ring a bell to you? Absolutely. I just sang it with her Baruch Chait. Wow. Last week in oh, I, wa I wonder if you just gave away an answer. Oh, look, look. <laughs> Who composed Kel Hados? Yassi Green, Baruch Chait, Yigal Salik, or the great Reb Shlomo Kalbach? Reb Baruch Chait composed Kel Hados, and we just sang it together, like I said last week. You're positive, week. right? I'm positive. <laughs> Give me the chord. <laughs> The first song on my first CD, thanks to Shia Mendelewitz, yep. that was his idea. All right, I like this. Question number three. I, we may need Freyloff's help with this one, just determining which of these we're talking about. There's so many of them. Who composed the song Me'ain Olam Haba? Was it Cantor Aaron Miller, Cantor David Werdiger, the great Ben Sian Schenker, or the aforementioned Rabbi Eili Teitelbaum? Uh, which Me'ain Olam Haba are we talking about here, folks? Listen carefully, Avramo. Do you know him? I do know. Do you know? No. Da 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 dum. Da 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 dum. I hope I don't. I don't hope I don't um, let myself down. Forever One, Main Olam Haba. Which album? Oh, which album was it? Am on? I right? I think it's Forever One. Please let me be right. Let's go to the next question. <laughs> you, you don't remember yourself. No, I don't feel. No, I don't feel so bad. Who wrote the lyrics to Tatten You? Is the question. We're looking for lyrics to Tatten You. Now you'll never believe who's among the choices here. We have Lipa. We have Rabbi Yisla Mendelbaum. We have Rabbi Yom Tverlich. You're a big fan of Rabbi Yom Tverlich, and. I don't know if this is a, uh, a trick or not, but on our list, Avramo Freed. 
Do you know who wrote? Tatiana? Anybody know in the audience? Anybody know? I mean, guys, if I wrote it, wouldn't I know that I wrote it? <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> but that's a very nice group of people to be yeah. associated with. Especially when you're the right answer. <laughs> yes. Wow, Tata Bistu. I remember trying to, hearing from the Rebbe this very famous line from the Baal Shem Tev, that Hashem loves every year like a one and only child. Wow. And I said, that's a beautiful line for a song. And then... Wow, phenomenal. All right, what year and album did the song Don't Hide From Me appear on? Was it your Brach of Atzlacha from 1995, Star Hat Naim in 93, Adaraba in 1990, or My Fellow Jew from 2001? Do you know where you placed the Don't Hide From Me song? Hmm. Uh, who knows? Who knows? What? Adaraba? It was, I don't sure. think it was on Adirab, no. was it? I don't think so. Don't hide from me. One more time. Don't hide from me. Though I know that you are truly there everywhere. Still and all, I cannot see you. Don't hide from me. I need to see you more than ever now. Oh yeah, I'll take a guess. Let me take a guess. Um, my 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 fellow Jew. No? The answer is Bracha Mahatzlacha, nineteen ninety five. Wow, you're still batting like eight hundred. So it's still a good song. It certainly is. Finally, our last question for this session. Remember the song Mima? Remember that song Mima? Oh yeah, Yossi Green. What's the source of the lyrics to Mima? Was it the Parish of Mishnais in the Rambam? Was it Avos der Abnasson? Was it Pirker der Eliezer? Or was it the Tiferes Yisrael? Of those four, where'd the words Mima come from? Oh, wow. You know, Yossi Green is going through a lot of uh, holy books. I have no idea where he found yeah, this Yeah, boy, one. he digs out lyrics, right? <laughs> it's like, amazing. He's done with Tillim a long time ago. Um, What a groove, what a groove. All right. Um, I'll, I'll go with, I'll go with the Ferris Yisroy. You're right, and that means you got five out of six. Congratulations, Avraham. And I have to just add, I have to just add, you sound incredible. Baruch Hashem. You. So do you. <laughs> Thank you. But the one above has blessed you, and Baruch Hashem continues to bless you. Amen. Thank God. Amen. But what, what did I win? <laughs> <laughs> You're the best. You are the best. See you soon.
Thank you, orchestra. Time to uh, give away some prizes. We'll tell you who wins the $25 prizes next, but first, a word from our sponsor. Thank this evening's sponsors. Kettle and Cord. Kettle and Cord is proud to be partnering with Ten Yacht on this year's Tenathon. The perfect place for a young couple to start their new lives together. Kettle and Cord has everything you need to fill your new home. Dare to compare. More than 90% of items at Kettle and Cord are more affordable than Amazon. From the Lachaim to the wedding and after, Kettle and Cord has the perfect gifts to enhance your symptoms. Visit us in store or online at kettleandcord.com. Molly's. For over two decades, Molly's Jewelers has been one of the most trusted names in jewelry in the tri-state area. We are committed to making every customer feel at home with our personalized service and our extensive variety of fine jewelry. Visit one of our three showrooms in Brooklyn, Lakewood, or Cedarhurst and taste the Molly's experience for yourself. Molly's Jewelers, attainable luxury. I'm going to ask Avramo, Avram Fried, to join me as we give away these prizes. Avramo, could you join us, please? All right, as we wait for Avramo, I guess we'll start giving away some of the prizes. Hopefully, he'll join us soon. Prize number 43 is $4,000 worth of Herzog kosher wines. And the winner of prize number 43 is Yehuda Schmuckler. Congratulations. Prize number 42 is an $1,800 gift certificate to Best Buy. And prize number 42 has a winner as well. The name of that winner is B. Gordon. Congratulations. Prize number 41 has been donated by Ilui Nishmas Michael Ben Yehuda Leib. That's Michael Ben Yehuda Leib. Prize number 41 is a Machon Stam Megillah and high grade leather case by Judaica Creations. Sponsored by Machon Stam, widely renowned for its creation of exquisite quality Judaica. Avremo hit that button for prize number 41. And the winner of prize number 41 is... Levi and Chaya Naparstek. Congratulations, Baruch Hashem. Do you need $1,600 worth of toys at Toys For You? You do? Okay. Luckily, there are two winners of this one. Prize number 40 is Toys For You, $1,600. Avremo, the winner of the first of the two $1,600 is... Jennifer Oppenheimer, congratulations to you. And we have a second winner of $1,600 at Toys for You. If you would, the winner is... Chaya Goldberg, congratulations. Would you like an iPad? Yeah? Can you write good Jewish music on an iPad? There's probably an app for that, right? Prize number 39 is the Apple iPad Pro. The great Avram Freed tells us that the winner is... <laughs> Apple iPad Pro goes to... Yael Gerber, congratulations. At prize number 38, we have two prime quality mattress sets. Avram will do the honors, because we have a winner to announce. And that... There we go. That winner's name is... Menachem and Rachi Lifshitz, congratulations to you. We're up to prize number 37. Look at this. $1,800 worth of lottery tickets. Not bad. The winner of prize number 37, we identify them as... MS. Congratulations, MS. Prize number 36 is sponsored by Kirsch Jewelers, who have the most lavish showroom and collection of jewelry. This is an $1,800 Kirsch Jewelers gift certificate. Please do the honors. The winner is... 
Ariel Kimchi, congratulations to you. We have a few more $25 prizes. How about this? $1,800 at everything but the baby. They're not giving away a baby, but everything else they are. Avremo, who wins this great prize? Levy and Malki Herson, congratulations. Special hello to the Herson family. Prize number 34 is $1,800 at Teen Boutique. There'll be two winners of this. It's sponsored by Teen Boutique. For decades, young girls and mothers have been greatly satisfied with their marvelous selection and the delightful ambiance of this one-of-a-kind store. $1,800 at Teen Boutique. The first winner is... Blima Tuller, congratulations. And Avremo, we have another winner of prize number 34. And that one is... Mordechai Friedman, interesting. Maybe a relative, who knows? <laughs> prize number 33 is a valuable Visa $2,200 gift card. Who's going to find themselves $2,200 richer tonight? The winner is... Tavora Heyman, congratulations. At prize number 32, it's the laptop of your choice. Very valuable prize. Avram Fried tells us that the winner of the laptop is... Miriam Ankri, congratulations. And finally, we're up to prize number 31, the final one for this session. It's $2,000 of Rabashkin's Meats for three winners. World-renowned Rabashkin's Meats of Borough Park has faithfully served the Jewish community with their fine collection of outstanding meats for close to 70 years. The winner of the first one is... Sophie Braun. Congratulations. The winner of the second one is... Menachem Nigri. And as I say thank you to Avram Fried, the winner of the third one is... Menachem Nigri. Wow, how do you like that, huh? <laughs> They'll be grilling up a storm at the Nigri home. <laughs> Avram Fried, everybody, thank you. We, we have a special promo for you tonight. From now until the end of the evening, prize numbers one and two, the Cartier watch and the three-year lease of a new Tesla, something for everybody, normally $150 per ticket, it's now two for $200. Log on now or call, and you'll automatically, if you, if you add the two tickets to your cart, the discount will automatically be applied. That's what's happening. We now have an interview that we'd like you to see, a video with a woman who was helped by Ten Yad. Please pay very careful attention, and we thank you. Ten Yad helped with so many things that I didn't even know, from Shabbos dishes to bed linens, everything you can think of. And they even helped me pick it out, and they helped me with choosing a wedding dress, and they were so friendly and so encouraging and just very supportive. I remember the first time I walked into Ten Yad looking for my wedding dress. It was the first time I ever walked into a wedding dress store and I was totally overwhelmed with all the different styles and options and, you know, the fact that I was seeing myself in a wedding dress. <laughs> and the person there, she really was so encouraging and so friendly and really helped me to make my decision and just was very encouraging and supportive. And I was able to just, you know, take what I needed and without without anyone asking anything in return. It was really such a beautiful experience. I would say just the work that Tenya does in helping young couples, especially couples that are not from Crown Heights or don't have big families, is really just so crucial and so helpful in the beginning of married life. And it's really, they provide services that last throughout, throughout the couple's life, I think.
Ten Yard would like to thank this evening's patrons. Mr. and Mrs. David and Malki Smetana. Mr. and Mrs. Levy and Chayla Eckhaus of Sparkles Gift and Party. East Side China. East Side China has been a favorite destination of brides and homemakers for 30 years and attracts shoppers from across the region with their breathtaking collection of China and outstanding customer care. Everything but the baby. Renowned for their expertise in the juvenile and furniture market, Everything But The Baby is proudly located in the heart of Brooklyn and serves customers nationwide. Connie Greenbaum Floral and Event Design. Impeccable style, exquisite design, seamless execution. Drimmers. Solika. Rubashkin's Meat, Madison Commercial Real Estate Services, Table One, 718 Insurance. to come sing with your children sing with your family at the Shabbos Yom Tif table we put together a list of my favorite Shabbos songs I hope you enjoy Shabbos, I owe you 
Silver is donated tonight by Elite Sterling. We know, we all know Elite Sterling. Baruchah v'Hatzlocha. So 
Gottes Ingen fall dir. Classic, regal, really. But I, I'm, not, I'm not looking for that though. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, yes. See this? You can literally see your face. In this. Um, Classic. Nah, nah, a little, little smaller in the. Would you have anything maybe like in the stainless steel? Um, unfortunately, not. We only have silver. Here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, can I get the biggest menorah you got? The most expensive one too, please. 
Hey. Hey. Over there. Watch. He's going to tell you that he won the menorah at the 10 yacht auction. Watch. I did. See? What did I tell you? Anyone can win big at a 10 yacht. This is going to be very nice in your house for Hanukkah. It's going to look great. Yeah, it's amazing. It goes right next to the latkes. Nice. The Tenethon would like to thank this evening's sponsors. Deanie Wigs. Expertly crafted and meticulously designed, Deanie Wigs are at the forefront of comfort and sophisticated trends. Made from the highest quality, untreated European hair, and the lightest, most resilient and comfortable nets. Dini wigs are luxurious and exquisitely natural looking. Available worldwide through select distributors or through virtual orders using exclusive 3D technology through the Dini from Home department. Dini wigs enhance every woman's natural beauty with the perfect finishing touch. Accentuations by design and abode furniture. A proud sponsor of Ten Yacht and a three-generation legend in exclusive furniture. Showrooms are conveniently situated in Brooklyn, Cedarhurst, and most recently, Monroe, New York. With a curated collection of unique furniture, decor, and seating options on display, Accentuations and its Cedarhurst designer showroom abode have most notably been lauded for bespoke custom furniture designs and sought-after designer pieces that are as unique as the homes they grace. Elite Sterling. For over 30 years, Elite Sterling has provided our communities with the most complete line of special silver pieces, each item crafted with care by artisans from around the world. With two convenient locations in Borough Park and Crown Heights, the staff at Elite Sterling are always delighted to help you with the best service, prices, and selection. And they are excited to announce their new state-of-the-art store at 4810 13th Avenue. You must visit. It's a breath of fresh air. Elite Sterling is proud to be part of your family's simchas from generation to generation. Make your simcha an elite simcha from weddings to bar mitzvahs or just that special gift or unique centerpieces. Elite Sterling, waiting for your next simcha. We're back live. Thank you very much. We are um, just correcting something that happened earlier. Often when, two name, when the same name is called for two prizes, they actually won two prizes in the auction. When we did prize number 31, the Raboshkin prize, the second winner was repeated on the screen by accident. The third winner, and therefore we say congratulations, is Nissan Lieberman. Congratulations, you're a winner of prize number 31. Also, we've gotten a report about the grand split the pot. Many of you are familiar that this uh, 10 yard split the pot tends to get very very high, and that's where we're recommending over the next few days, make sure to join in before they draw it. The grand split the pot right now is at $350,000. So take advantage, everybody. Join in. Simple as that. Uh, I'd like to welcome to the stage Yaakov Shweki to help draw the $35 prizes with me. Yaakov. By the way, a reminder that the $50 and $75 prizes are closing in a few minutes. You know what to do, tenyad.org. Yaakov, thank you for being back on stage. A lot of people in this segment are going to be able to say that you chose their prize, and they'll tell their children and grandchildren about it. All right, <laughs> prize number 30 is the sensational KMR Vacation, Yaakov, if you would, hit that button and we can declare that the winner is... Rifki Reichman, congratulations. Prize number 29, a vacation thrill, a trip for five in the continental United States, sponsored by CBS Travel. There's probably a city or two, you could use that, right? That's right. Trip for five, that would take care of the entire group. 
press that button, sir. We have to declare a winner. And that winner is... Rifki Lefkowitz, congratulations. Prize number 28 is $3,500 at everything but the baby. Jakob Schwecki, who wins the $3,500 prize? Why Moskowitz, congratulations. Hey, look at this. Prize number 27 is a colossal Amazon $3,500 gift card. How many boxes can I handle by the front door? I have no I'll idea. I'll tell you, they'll be coming and coming and coming. My gosh. Who wins the $3,500 gift card from Amazon? The winner is... Levy Gurevich. Congratulations to you. No hinting here, all right? Not for you, not for me. Prize number 26 is a Peloton Deluxe Exercise Machine. Are you suggesting something to me? I hope not. Yakov Shweki, press that button. Prize number 26 goes to... The Greatest Bubby G. Fantastic. She's getting on the Peloton, huh? You know, Lipa went for the Tesla. Okay. He's into driving. I don't know if he's ready to start the Peloton machine. Yakov and I would like to call up Mr. Eliezer Gruber of Mediterranean Balance by Nutra Supreme to help us push the magic red button. Eliezer Gruber, welcome. Wonderful to have you here. Uh, well, you know the two questions. It's all of our sponsors who come to the stage are asked. Tell us a little bit about Mediterranean Balance by Nutra Supreme. Uh, actually, Mediterranean ba Balance is a sister-daughter company of Nutra Supreme Research. 2002, in Baifakan, after a meeting with Amchan of Arabi, that put me on a mission to go and to build Nutra Supreme. Nutra Supreme was built in 2002 without compromising whatsoever in any kind of, it's only the best of the best quality. Traveling to Spain, traveling to Italy, I think there's a video on oh, whatever and to go to get the science-based, evidence-based material. From that meeting, in order to bridge the gap, a really wide gap between medicine and nutrition, I had to start now to communicating with the medical field. The medical field, from cardiology to gastroenterology to psychiatry, whether is getting approval in Charitetic for a study in congestive heart failure, because I'm, we, my whole vision, mission, is to look at the biological basis of disease, not the pathological basis of disease, and use Band-Aids and Band-Aids and Band-Aids. You gotta get to the root of the problem. The root of the problem, if we look at, just for an example, Chicago Rush Medical Center, together with Harvard and Boston, together with the National Institute of Health, a 14, 14 and a half million dollar study, took a thousand people, they're overweight, different biomarkers for possibly co cognitive dysfunction, Rachmona Latzlan, Alzheimer's. The study was, at three and a half year study, was published in a very prestigious medical journal, Alzheimer's and Dementia, 2015. I was sent a special report from Mass General in Boston, 53% reduction in Alzheimer's, people that followed the Mediterranean diet. People that didn't do it fully, there was a 35%. The medical field has spent $5 billion and they're still scratching their head, what do we do next? The same thing with autism. Martha Herbert at Mass General, she is the expert in autism. It's a systemic problem. How do we get to the root of the problem? Not Band-Aids. In fact, in fact, when I, I, I was in Eretz Rail and I had to go really to Geneva for, for a big conference, and I get to the airport, Ben Gurion, and according to the Swiss government, that as long as I have a PCR negative within 72 hours, I can get on the plane. I was, why should I get vaccinated? I had, the, I, had the, I had the virus and I have antibodies. My antibodies are better than Pfizer's antibodies. <laughs> they, wouldn't, they wouldn't let me on the plane. Who knows? We're all asking the same question. That's for sure. So, Mr. Yeah. Gruber, no, Mediterranean no, no. Balance by Nutra Supreme here to support Tenyat, and we're gonna ask you, if you don't mind, 
to help us uh, push the big button so people know who wins the prizes. Prize number 25 is the exceptional Amex $3,500 gift card, and the winner is FC Wolshansky. Congratulations. Prize number 24 is the thrilling European vacation, a trip for two with a one-week hotel stay. And that winner's name is... Sarah Channon, congratulations. Number 23, $3,500 for Splendid Silver at Elite Sterling. You can visit their state-of-the-art showroom. It's brand new at 4810 13th Avenue in Brooklyn. And there's a winner of this prize, and that winner's name is... Bracha Benkin, congratulations. At number 22, the Orlando Villa or Florida Sunbreak Vacation. Prize number 22, Mr. Gruber, is... Bellini Blyer, congratulations. And the Schottenstein Arts Girl Shas. Talmud Bavli is prize number 21, and that winner is... Daniela Elias, congratulations. And Mr. Gruber, a word on why Tenyat is such an important organization to you. I would, um, I would like to ask Tenyat a very important question. Who stays up later at night, me or you? Tenyat, why do I connect to Tenyat? Because you're building, you're helping build Klal Yisrael. Abram Avinu, the took out, count the stars, count the stars, you can't count the stars. You're building each, every, every chasna that you get, that you help, these kala go be covered, dignity. And with honor, you're building another mikdash ma'at in Klau Yisrael. The Rabbanishim wants Klau Yisrael to be a mikdash ma'at, each, each home a mikdash ma'at, and to, you are at the forefront of building Klau Yisrael. Thank you so much. Can we hear it from Mr. Eliezer Gruber, Mediterranean Balance by Nutri Servim. Thank you for joining me and Yaakov Shweki tonight here at the Tenathon. And Yaakov, we have a couple of more before we're gonna ask you to head back to the stage. Prize number 20 is $3,500 at B&H Electronics Superstore. And that winner is... S. Berkowitz, congratulations. Prize number 19 is $3,500 for Supreme Elegant Linens at Ben Barber. There are two winners of this one. Winner number one is... Menachem Freeman and Yaakov, if you would, winner number two is... Very nice style, I like that. Mushki Lewis, congratulations. One more to see your form. Prize number 18 is $4,000 at Tzfasman Jewelers. Sponsored by Tzfasman Jewelers, the most sensational showroom, longtime favorite destination for savvy shoppers. $4,000, Tzfasman's Jewelers. The winner is Hana Borin. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Are you ready to do some singing for us? Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Yakov Shweki. I thought I was just here to do the... Uh... Tickets. Fire now. 
What fire! Thank you for the dancers. You guys are unreal. And it's amazing. Thank you, my friend. Thank you very much. Yeah, we're going to start that song right now. It's the title track of the latest album. After all we've been through, we got a toast to life. L'chaim, l'chaim. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Yes. 
בעזרת השם, ולסמר. זה הזמן להודות ולהתפלל, להרים את הכוסית וגם לאחר ולפרר. Thank you so much. voice coming out here on the monitors by the way but thank you thank you to all those who organized this beautiful night the people on the back on the computers so many names you guys are unbelievable when I say the greatest nation in the world there's nobody that does chesed like Am Yisrael it's amazing to get the opportunity to sing of course all over the world but for so many beautiful organizations and here tonight They're just amazing. Getting up one day and making an organization to help brides. Who thinks like that? Help brides, a wedding. You could say to yourself, maybe, no, you know what? Let them make a smaller wedding. Let, let, no, it's not like that. It's really not like that. When you love someone like yourself, just like you would want a beautiful wedding, you want her to have it as well. We raise up the cup, we said L'chaim. We also raise up the cup and we know that for generations of history, for so many years, we face challenges as a nation. And we sing it here tonight. Invite out to the stage my dear friend Avram Free to sing this beautiful song with you. You all know the song. הקדוש ברוך הוא מציל לנו מידם. אריאס. ויהי שיום דולה ויסיינו. ויהי שיום דולה ויסיינו ולנו. שלא יכול לראות עומד עולנו לך לא יישא בבינו. היום עד עולנו, אי לך לא יישאנו. והיא שעמדה לאבותינו, אי והיא שעמדו, לא ושאינו ולא בנו. אי שלא יכול ללבוד, ומה תולנו לך נשאנו. אוי ומה עולנו. Thank you. 
Good job. Good no question job. about it. Yeah. Around the corner from his house. Okay. How beautiful it is. A nice to walk to a gig. I got it. Yaakov Yashikoya. Ruch and Tio. Yaakov Shweki. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow. So with Ten Yad, there's no need to worry. Because you're never alone when Ten Yad is right there at your side. It's also good to know that Ayid is never alone. Hashem is with us every step of the way. Sometimes when you're feeling all alone, you need some happiness to call your own. Nothing is going the way it should You're trying to do the best you could Lift up your eyes to the sky Your life's in his hands Trust in him, he will reply Guiding all your steps Always at your side You are His joy and pride And don't you know You're never alone It doesn't matter where you are There's nothing in His eyes More special than you Wherever you go Maestro Tzvi on the keyboard and Avrumi on the drums. When they're around, you know it's going to be Freyla. Take a solo.
What a beautiful morning. Hey, Mosher. How's it going? Ah, I can't complain. I thought for sure it would take at least two days to get my stuff. Nah, everything's faster than a Tesla. Ah. Let me guess. You won this beauty with uh, the uh, Penyard Auction, huh? Of course. Wow, that's something else. Woo-wee. You know, well, let me ask you something. Yeah. You think maybe you can uh, give me a little ride in that one? No, a little few minutes, you know? You could drive. I'll, I'll just, you know, be a good passenger. Oh, yeah! Ah. Woo! 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 All right, we're getting to the very, very exciting part of the evening. I want to clarify the promo that's only from now until the end of the evening. Any two identical tickets of either prize numbers one or two, that's the Cartier watch or the three-year lease of the new Tesla, they're now two for $200. Log on now, tenyad.org, or call. Add two to your card, two tickets to your card, and the discount will automatically be applied. Let's give away some prizes. Remember the Dollar a Day Club? And we said if you're a member of the Dollar a Day Club, you're in a special drawing for a gorgeous diamond ring, which is a $4,500 value. The Diamond of the Day Club winner is... Benny Katz, congratulations. Prize 17 is $700 a month at Gourmet Glot for a year, a total of $8,400. And the winner of the Gourmet Glot for one year is... Hannah Schattenstein, congratulations. Number 16, as we get closer and closer to the big prizes, the Barber Custom Wig. A barber wig embraces you with its breathable, smooth-fitting lace, natural look, and beautiful hair. The luxurious shape of your dreams. Prize number 16 goes to... Schneer Seitlin, congratulations. At prize 15, it's $6,000 shopping whirl at Bloomingdale's Nordstrom or Saks Fifth Avenue. And the winner of prize number 15 is... The Lefkowitz family, congratulations. How about a luxurious Chanel bag at prize number 14? Let's choose a winner for the Chanel bag, and that winner is... Ariel Barber, congratulations. Prize number 13, an irresistible Israel or Dubai adventure. Sponsored by MB Travel, a first-class travel agent. And the winner of prize number 13 is... Eliezer Cohen, congratulations. Prize 12 is $10,000 for sensational appliances by Drimmers. Drimmers has the best kitchen appliances and has provided expert information and outstanding customer service for over four decades. The Drimmers Prize, number 12, goes to... Arie Carp, congratulations. At prize number 11, it's a two-year car or minivan lease by ENY Car Leasing. We want to take this opportunity to thank Aaron and Mirit Hirschkop of ENY Car Leasing and announce that in addition to the car lease, they have contributed tonight to the big fund five thousand dollars thank you so much they do deserve a round of applause the two-year lease by eny car leasing goes to miriam shaffrin congratulations at prize number 10 it's twelve thousand dollars for gorgeous kitchen and bath fixtures at plumber's haven plumber's haven carries the most marvelous fixtures for bath kitchen and beyond in the most exquisite showroom the winner of prize number 10 is 
Miriam Flaum, congratulations. How about $10,000 at Window Palace? We know it at pri as prize number nine. We know the winner as $10,000 Window Palace goes to M. Deitch. Congratulations. At prize number eight, we are deep into the top 10 and getting into the really, really exciting prizes. Prize number eight is $9,000 for Fabulous Silver at Elite Sterling. They provide outstanding, reliable service with the largest selection of silver Judaica items. Shop in their new state-of-the-art showroom at 4810 13th Avenue in Brooklyn. And the winner of prize number eight, $9,000 at Elite is... Ruchel Friedman, congratulations. How about $10,000 for prize number seven of stunning bone china and more by East Side China. Prize number seven, East Side China winner is Mayor Fischel, congratulations. We've been speaking about the Dini wig. The Dini wig is the prize at prize number six. Did you put in for Dini wig? You might be the winner, especially if your name is... Rachel Vachcha, congratulations. And finally for this segment, it's prize number five, $15,000 Dream Kitchen. Excuse me, a $15,000 Dream Kitchen Cabinets featuring cuisine ideal cabinetry by Crown Woodworking. And the winner of prize number five is... Shira Pearl, congratulations. Okay, everybody, you know what's happening now. A little bit of music, which we could start right now, and then we're back with the last big prizes of the night. Oh, 
Thank you, Tanya. Thank you. Amazing. Fabulous. Gentlemen, stay right where you are. Stay right where you are because we have four prizes to go, and you're going to help me give away the final four prizes of the night. Thank you to everybody for participating. It's been an incredible night with these four fabulous performers. A well-deserved round of applause. Prize number four is $15,000 at Accentuations by Design. Wait a minute, I, just, I, I want to just say something about them. Did, no, this is the bra. First of all, thank you for the band. They didn't take a break. They didn't charge extra for yeah. not taking a break. And they're going to go the eat best. afterwards. I hear everything in the we, oh, we, we got to get the prize number four, <laughs> Lipa. Prize number four, I just want to say, is the Brach family. The Brach family. Not to go into all the details, but a big Shem Dover and Satmer. Yep. And I think it's a big Kiddush and Shem for a Satmer, a guy from the Brach family, to be here in Crown Heights. Kimarov, Hashem, Tzachimah, hey, Brach, Kimarov. Brach, Kimarov. Kimarov, Kimarov. All right. Kimarov, no matter. He has to press it. He's embarrassed. They charged me a lot of money for the furniture, and here they're giving it for a donation. So I want to bring him up. He should. Yeah. Who told you? 
Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's not do anything yet. Hang on. Apparently, Benny's in touch with the people in control of our prize buzzer, and he's waiting for word that we're ready to roll. Oh, I told you I have I have time to speak. As usual, yeah. Leepa's right. What can so, I tell you? So, Brach, they have the most magnificent furniture, and uh, they belong to all types of satmer. Leepa, mach an dicken Brach doidi. Brach, 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 furniture bis in dach. Brach, Brach, stark, sei is gut nicht schwach. Brach, 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 sei viel ein bis in dach. But when you go to situations, so it's a rag. Well, it costs gold, it costs dirt and gold. But they give you everything you need. So worth every penny, every every penny. Yo yo, here fifteen thousand is it free? Fifteen thousand dollar, geben geben zoller. Accentuations, hope appreciation. Far brach family, come in the showroom and see. That was that was Givaldi. Okay, how are we doing? Thank you so much. How are we doing, Benny? What do you what do you hear? We're ready? Thank yous? Hey, can I ask the person in charge of this monitor to put up some thank yous so we can do that first before we start prize number four? Remember, you can still buy tickets in the split the pot drawing. No, split the pot drawing is gonna be November 10th. Split the pot, which is now almost four hundred thousand dollars. The drawing is gonna be November 10th. You can still buy. Tickets. Enormous thank you to the board of Ten Yard, to Mrs. Gitti Borenstein, Mrs. Esther Kaplan, Mrs. Sarah Dunin, Mrs. Hindi Friedman, Mrs. Leia Gorari, Mrs. Hani Karp, Mrs. Seema Karp, Mrs. Saraliba Levin, Mrs. Devora Leia Minkowitz, Mrs. Tamar Pevsner, Mrs. Rochi Shemtov, Mrs. Leia Schmuckler, Mrs. Minna Spoots, Mrs. Adel Spoots, Executive Producer Schneer Najar and Shimon Sable, Program Director and Show Writer David Weinberg. Musical director Tzvi Blumenfeld, music with Avrami Schreiber and the Freiluch Band, marketing, creative direction and design, Moshe Muchnik, Zalman Friedman, Mendel Nevinoff, the entire team at Spotlight Design, who work tirelessly creating all the amazing media campaigns for the Tenathon, designing the prize book, building and maintaining the website, just to name a few things. Thank you. Video and content, Shlomo Chaim Rifkin, Rifkin Media. Filming, live mixing and broadcasting, Bracha Torenheim and Yankee Tidebaum Slow Motion. Multimedia graphics, Shmulek, Ben Arush, and Chaim Bakhtin of Visual Live. Sound engineer, Eli Lashinsky. Hey, Stage yeah. and lighting, Jan Vanewalt and Jimmy Yerrit of Dynamic Vision. Decor and flowers by Hani Greenbaum. Catering, Levy Fakenson of Table One. Event marketing, Rocky Lifshitz. Tanya showroom office coordinators, Malky Pinsky. Vincent and Shani Werner, auction coordinator Etty Raskin, order processing Rifki Schmuckler and Esti Dunin, photographers Naftali Marisol, Chaim Tweedo, and Ohad Pab, Chaya Friedenfertig, Friedfertig, Millie Suffren, our Nachum Single Network, Miriam Wallach, Sharon Daniel, Gadi Hirschkopf, Nochi Krohn, Mendy Kolsky, Ellie Marcus, Moshe Wersenthal, Wasser Tile, and special thanks to Benny Wolf and the staff of Bates Rifka. And most importantly, thank you to all of you at home who participated by watching, enjoying, buying tickets, and contributing. It's thanks to you and in your merit that Ten Yad will be able to continue the great work they do building homes and building future generations. All right, we're ready? Mr. Brach, prize number four, $15,000 in accentuations by well, design. Well, it goes to the Nusuk a little bit different. 10,000, the question right at the bottom. Please, so, thank you. Two, uh, the winner is Leepa, look at the screen. Oh, Razel Maris, congratulations. We go to prize number three. Prize number three wow. is $11,000 for enthralling jewelry at Molly's. Ah. And there's, there's gonna be two winners. Molly's Jewelers has built a legacy of trust and confidence to become one of the most reliable fine jewelry stores with three outstanding showrooms in the tri-state area. The prizes tonight, there are two winners, are being sponsored in memory of their employee, co-worker, and beloved friend, Mrs. Chumi Pol, Leilu Nushmas Ruchama Mindel Bas Ben Sion, a shining example of a true Bas Melech who always walked with Hashem. Your kindness and respect for others were unparalleled. The hurt is deep. May your memory be blessed forever. Our friends at Molly's have two winners of $11,000. Avremo, would you please press that button? Drum roll, please! And winner number one of the 11,000 at Molly's is... 
Yisrael Goldman, congratulations. And now I'm gonna ask Benny Friedman to step up for a second $11,000 of enthralling jewelry at Molly's. Drum roll, please! And the winner is... Doralea Minkowitz, congratulations! Prize number two, you might be aware, <laughs> is the Tesla Model 3. My daughter, I bought a ticket, $150 I paid. And yeah, you did it from backstage. If I win it, it's not rigged, it's real. Three-year lease. Prize number two is the Tesla. Benny, Avremo, Lipa, together, touch that button. Drum roll, please! Trebish, you're going home in a Tesla. How do you like that? Ricky Trebish, congratulations. Mazel tov, mazel tov, mazel tov. Mazel tov. And finally, astound yourself with the prize of your life. Self-drive at home. A timeless Cartier watch. It's every detail styled and expertly crafted to perfection. We know it as prize number one of the Tenathon. Drum roll, please. All four of you, hit that button. The winner is... Sarah Shmaya, congratulations! Unbelievable. Thank you to everybody. As we do our final song of the night, we say thank you to you. And until next year in Yerushalayim, have a good night. Great job. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.